<laughs> oh. oh! Hurry up. Oi. Oh, he calls her with his siren song. You are. Oh, right, um, you all right? Yep. Uh, are we? Yep. Yep, as in really, or like, stop asking? Definitely one of those. I just can't ignore how I feel about things. If I could, I might have dumped you a long while back. Sorry. You all right? Yes. I'm worrying about Adam. Well, he's doing okay, yeah? No. Well, I mean, considering... You... Well, considering what? That he's looking at a long stretch in prison. No, he's not. If only there was a way of him avoiding it. Toilet free, Bob. Well, unless you want to pay. <laughs> What's she on about, avoiding it? <sighs> I've no idea. Straight down to the end, the contacts will be away. Put some money in there to keep you going. There's a new phone as well, but don't use it until you get there. Aaron's put some photos in as well. Cheers. Don't even think about getting in touch. You'll want to, a lot, but it just can't happen, all right? Yeah. One peep out of you and he'll end up inside again. I know, I won't. Best of luck, yeah. Just, uh, make sure it's worth it for my mum, yeah? No, well, so. So we sorted? Yeah. I'm logged on to the Wi Fi of yours. Anyone asks, you were live streaming a movie at the exact time Adam escaped. Hot chicks on Mars. That's what I was watching. Well, yeah, it's better than admitting that you sprung Adam out of a prison van, isn't it? Look, I didn't do this as a favour to you. Oh, I had to get something out of it for myself. Your face right now, it's totally worth it. So, the police haven't caught up with you yet, then? What are you going on about? Oh, don't act dumb, Kane. Even though you are dumb, really, really dumb. I know you were behind Adam's disappearing act. You've already made a liar out of me. Don't make a fool out of me, too. All right, so I helped him. There was no other way. Yeah, except there was. Moira was ready to admit everything. Only you took the option away from her. Hey, excuse me. You're not paid. Thank you. Harriet, wait. What do you mean Moira was going to admit it all? She already tried to confess and he thought she was barking. She found the hoodie she was wearing when Emma died. Thinks it might have forensic evidence on it. I can't live with this, Kane. It's killing her. You saw what the guilt did to Emma. Do you really want Moira to go the same way? Well, where is it now, the hoodie? <sighs> She's still got it, I think. We went back to the house when we heard Adam had gone AWOL. Kane, love, just came to warn me. Can I uh, borrow this room for a bit? There's a whole bar out there. Well, I need somewhere private. What's going on? We just wanted to ask Mr Dingle a few questions regarding Adam Barton. We already established the garage was closed for the day. I had no cars booked in, so I took the day off. Let me guess. You were at home alone? Yeah, I was. So you were free? Free to help Adam if he called, asking for money or a passport, say? What were you doing? I watched a film. What film? What difference does it make? Or maybe you can tell us which channel it was on. I downloaded it. And presumably your download history will prove that. Can't you just take my word for I it? I think you know it doesn't work like that. Interesting film choice. Hot chicks on Mars? <laughs> no. <laughs> you lucky pup. <laughs> well, it's not a crime, is it? If Adam gets in touch, call me. And thanks for your help. Thank you. No, 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 no. Look, you might have fooled them, but you're not fobbing me off that easily. I 
can't believe you involved Aaron in this. Well, hang on, Mum. This was down to me, too. I knew that Adam wouldn't be able to hack it inside, so I had to help him. Did you even try and talk him out it's of it? It's done now. I haven't got time to argue. I need to get to Moira. I did not. Poor Pete. Moira! Moira! Right. That was Adam's only hope. OK, if we come in, Mrs Dingle wanted to see me. Yeah, go on. Heard from Adam at all? No. And you've no idea where he might be heading? No. I wish he was here. I wish none of this had happened. Moira, I don't understand why you wanted to see me if you've nothing to tell me. No new information. No. I've got nothing. Well, if that's everything, I have an investigation I need to get back to. It'll be okay. Look, I, I get that you're angry with me, but Adam made his choice. It was the only way you could both be free. Look, I admit <sighs> Look, um, <clears throat> why don't we get out of here, eh? Maybe go for something to eat. Come on. Don't touch me. And don't you dare act like I can just go back to normal. In fact, what are you even doing here? I'm just trying to look out for you. That's what all this has been about. No. You just want me to be free to look after your son. But to hell with mine, no, eh? That's not right. Look, I, I know you feel bad, but I'm not letting you put yourself behind bars. Why not? It's what I deserve. And it's my decision. Why would you take that away from me? Because I can't be without you. I love you, all right? I, I, I love you and I always... Well, I don't want your love! I hate you! I hate you! Oh. 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 Where'd you get your bruises? Why'd you want some? So what's going on with this Tom? Well, you'd know, wouldn't you, if you'd taken more of an interest in your daughter's love life? Instead of spending all your time running around after Moira and your little brat. 
Well, can can you two either take it outside or button it? Eh? What is Deb's thinking, eh? She needs to ditch him now. I said, didn't I? Eh? Why is he being so generous? It all seemed too good to be true, and you know what? It was. That was Deb's. Apparently he's going to put it all right. He didn't know it was our house when he first invested. Yeah, but what about when he found out? Uh, too late. Oh, I'm sorry, slippery as. So why do you let it go on? She more than happy to keep on taking his cash. Hey, us arguing amongst ourselves ain't going to save that house, is it? What's Tom going to do? Debbie reckons they're going to stop the demolition and find another way round, so that's good news, I suppose. Well, can he do that if he's just an investor? Oh, I do hope so. We're going to just have to wait and see and hope that he comes good on his promises. Mm, right, and if he doesn't? Then he'll have me to answer Look, to. I'm sorry, but I'm not sitting around waiting for him to make you lot homeless and break Debbie's heart, OK? Because he's a two-faced liar and he can't be trusted. So I am going to go out there and make sure he stops that demolition. You... Who gave you a pasting? I'd like to buy him a pint. Yeah, I made a right mess of your face. I'm just sorry they beat me to it. You deserve a lot worse for what you've done. I wasn't aware I'd done anything. Oh, helping my mum's killer evade justice. Slipped your mind, did it? Easily done, I guess. Maybe Adam just got lucky, he saw his way out and he took it. <laughs> yeah, would you two gents mind taking this outside? Please. You try our low-fat latte and skinny muffin, dear. Well, I've already blown all my New Year's resolutions, so let's go for broke, eh? Hot chocolate with all the naughty extras. <laughs> there you go. Uh, any news on Adam? No postcards from Brazil yet. <clears throat> no, it's more I feel sorry for. <laughs> Bad enough losing one child, but then finding out your son is a killer must be absolutely devastating for her. All Moira's ever done is to... Try and make sure our children stay on the straight and narrow. Uh, what the hell happened to your face? I think the official term is road rage. Some idiot cut me up and then we had words. Honestly. Mm. Isaac wasn't in the car with you, was he? No, he wasn't. Good, because we don't want him around violence like that. And I take it Moira didn't go to the police and confess? No. Sorry to disappoint you. Someone avoiding me? No. You can, um, start by taking that car for its MOT. I'm not going anywhere until you start giving me some answers. Where is Adam? I've no idea. Look, if you're not in the mood to work, that's fine by me, because I'm just not in the mood. Oh, here she is! But you put Kane up to this, didn't you? And of course he'll do your bidding because he wants to come home and start playing daddy. So what, has he earned a place in your bed now that Adam's off sunning himself on some beach? I know you two don't care that my mum's dead. I do care. You're still my family, Rose. And I know what it's like to lose someone you love. And I'm truly sorry, Rose, for your mum. None of it was ever meant to happen. Happen? What you want about? Nothing. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's not been right ever since that day in the barn with your mum, have you? So just go easy on her and leave her alone, yeah? Leave her be. Yeah. Because I'm never going to get any answers out of you, am I? Just go back to work. I'm not working for you. Stuff your poxy job. Moira. Look at me. I can't run away from this. Come on. I want you back. Talk then. Do you want to sit down? You pushed me. Do you know that? Trying to take over my life and you have got no right. Adam is my son. I gave him a way out. He could have stayed in that van, but he chose to run. Only because you made him think he had no other option. You bullied him into going. That's why you had to keep me out of it. No, this is why I had to keep you out of it. Adam needed calm, not you getting hysterical. Hysterical? 
If you hadn't burnt my hoodie, stop me doing the one honest thing. You know why I did that. I don't care about your feelings, Kane. You think you've got a say in my life because we've got a child together? God, you're so arrogant and patronising. You know, I should never have told you about Emma. Stupid. Stupid. So what now, eh? You're gonna lose it again. I've never seen you like that before. Well, like I said, you pushed me. Really? Is that your excuse? I know you're hurting. Well, what happens if I'm not around next time and it's just you and Isaac? I would never hurt my baby. But you thought you'd never be capable of this. You're the one who raised a hand to Kyle. Nearly hit the wee mate. Yeah. And you know how much that scared me. It's never happened again. Thought of turning to Shadrach was enough. But where's your stop switch, Moira? I've said it's not an issue. Will you drop it now? I can't. Because until you deal with it, it might happen again. Deal with what? All these feelings you've got boiling up inside you. You're talking to me about feelings. Cain Dingle, the definition of emotionally stunted. So don't follow by my example. You've got to find a way to cope that doesn't involve hurting people. For Isaac, for Adam. Adam's gone. So you could have a life now. You owe him that. Don't lecture me. Well, someone's got to. I want you to go now. Hiya. I know I should have come and seen you, but... I'm not interested. You don't even know what I'm going to say yet. Oh, I can guess. You hated going behind my back, but you did it for Adam. We had to get him away. I was never going to let him go down for something he hadn't done. Yeah. I know he was covering for you. I lost my best mate because of it. But you know what, Moira? It was his choice. And he was gutted he couldn't say goodbye to you. Don't ask me why, but he... asked me to give you that. Just saw my mum come back with Isaac. You've been lurking outside to check up on me, haven't you? Can I see him? Go on. Hey, mister. Whoa! It's me. Still your dad. I know, a bit uglier than usual, but what can you do? Hmm? Uh. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry. I still think you're wrong. But I'm not doing Adam any favours falling apart. So I'll uh, try and make more of an effort. That's all I can promise right now. OK. Yeah? Why wouldn't I be? Just thought you might need me to uh, go out to the shops or something, you know, or look after the little man. Haven't you got enough on my Debbie? Well, apparently, she can handle it. <laughs> Many. Everyone a waste of space. Yeah. Somebody needs changing. Oh, come on then, mister. 
Uh, um, you can put the kettle on if you like. And wash your hair. What happened to your face? Not so fat. <laughs> yeah, and I'm an astronaut. Don't fob me off. It was an accident, all right? Things got a bit heated, did they? I want to help. Then keep your mouth shut. So, she hit you, but you can't seem to keep away. So what's all that about? And what about Harriet? Hello, stranger. For a minute, I thought you weren't coming. Just for a minute. That's what you're having. I'm fine, by the way. Don't be like that. I've missed you. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Yeah, and I've been busy. So how is Moira? Look, I... I know you didn't sign up to this. But Moira... She's had it tough. First Holly and then, and then all this stuff with Adam and Isaac. She doesn't have anybody else. And no matter what you think of her, she, she is the mother of my child. I just need to be there for her. Is that your speech, Don? Why did you bother coming if you're going to be like this? Do you know what? I have absolutely no idea. What, what, what is happening here? What's happening is I'm beginning to feel like a spare part in this relationship. What are you talking about? There's three of us in it, if you hadn't noticed. What do you want me to say? I have to tell you. There's no point, is there? I, I love you. You daft cow. I need a favour. I hate to ask, but... Well, ask away. Would you be able to look after Isaac for a couple of hours later? I've been up for most of the night. Yeah, not a problem. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll, I'll let you know a time. Oh, well, you better behave, mister. Otherwise, you and me are going to fall out. You OK? Have to be, don't I? Don't suppose anybody's got a spare poop bag. This dog, Scooby-Poo, it's rank. It's like he wants to get me a fine. Sorry. Will the nappy bag do? A little after. Yeah. Oh, I reckon he's got your eyes. Isaac, not him. Well, as long as it hasn't got your mouth. Do you hear that, mate? And here's me trying to be nice. You, nice. Even a three-month-old can see through that. Head round it. We've seen Lawrence the dead. Literally haven't slept a wink. What about the others? Well, apparently Lachlan's got a punctured lung. Rebecca's in an induced coma. Oh. Imagine waking up and being relieved because you've survived, but then being told that your sister and your dad. I hope Lachlan don't have to do it, poor oh. kid. I hope it's not Robert or Victoria either. You should hold a vigil so we can all pay our respects. A hopeful prayer for Rebecca. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Lydia's right. Faith can be a comfort. Ashley always came into his own at times like this, didn't he? Yeah, but he didn't always find it easy. Easy or not, it's the vicarly thing to do. I'll sort something. You know, if you don't feel up to it... Of course I'm up for it. It's my duty. Why wouldn't you? Well, short notice, isn't it? Look, if you didn't feel like making sweets, would Jay let you go home? Or if Chaz didn't want to open the pub, would the customers say, no worries, we'll come back later? It's a job. Which I am late for, so... I've got to go too. Well, what was that for? It felt like it. It won't be long, I promise. Morning. Don't mind me making a brew, do you? No, of course not. 
Hey, have you heard about the whites? Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? Mm. I hope Rebecca's all right. But then again, she's got to learn. One second your family's here, the next. And they're gone. Yeah, I know what that's like. I was talking about them being dead. Adam taking off because he doesn't want to do his time. It's not the same thing. Actually, I was talking about Holly. Going into her bedroom to find her. Or John, we were on our way to a hotel for a break, and then... I mean, some people get to prepare themselves for their loved ones dying. We didn't. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have had a go. Morning. Hi. Well, I, um, best crack on. So, Ross is working here as well? He needed the work. What time? Four. Baby break? Friends, who's getting the break? I've changed his nappy and he's been fed and patted, so... Patted? Do you mean burped? And now he's, uh, he's looking for a bit of a break from this mug for a few minutes. How about for the day? You sure it worked for us? Not for him. But happy for you to hang around, cos, you know, you have the package deal. Needs must. I told Pete and Ross everything. And? And they forgave me. I spent months watching that door, waiting for the knock. People coming to take Isaac away, and now none of it's going to happen. They said that they did it for him, so he had a good life. So you're free? Adam's not, though. Adam did it to protect you. Yeah, but I should protect him. You know, I thought he was dead yesterday. The police wanted me to ID a body. Which I take wasn't him. Well, it might as well have been. I'm never going to see my son again, am I? And how can I be free if I've lost that? You, you have a son here. Isaac needs you. You need to give him everything that Adam wanted him to have. He, he's why we did it all. Get Emma's right. I'll wreck his life. Get Emma out of your head. I mean, she'd be laughing right now. They won't keep quiet. Someone will find out. Right, you've been handed your life back. You've got to grab at it. With all I've done? All, all you've done is fight for the people that you love. It's time you started fighting for yourself. I can't when she's all I can hear. Listen to me. I know you better than anyone ever will. I'm a, a better man because of you. you. You showed me how to parent, how to love, and it, and it kills me to see you hating yourself like this. Look at you. You're amazing. And I will never, ever forgive myself if I can't make you see what I do. This beautiful, perfect, Impossible woman. I love you. I didn't think you were doing a fan dance. <laughs> Good on you. You've had just what you needed, a long lie in. You're usually up at dawn's crack. <laughs> Poor dawn. <laughs> Let's get his lordship ready for the day. <gasps> on my...
smooth the kelly's doorstep down the paradise road. What are we gonna do? Well, it's not my fault, she's your mother. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm gonna have a shower. What? You'll have to stay here. <sighs> That's what we're going to do. Now, I just thought I'd march him down to the village. My mm -hmm. thighs are dropping. I need to tighten things up. <laughs> Oh, someone's with a bacon oh. cake for me. Get your own, Lazy. That's for Pete. Bacon's in the pan, son. I forgot to mention he was in the yard when I got it. I'm going to feed order for next month. Right. On the uh, fence in the top field. It's droopy again. Yeah, I know how it feels. I'll get it done. Uh, do you not want a tea or stay for a bit? I've got a flask in the tractor, and um, so Ross won't be in today. It takes him a little bit longer to get over things. He's under the weather. You boys, you're always going down with something, aren't you? <laughs> Pete, now. grab us the buggy, would you love her? And you? Put your feet up. <laughs> I'll get the door. Yeah. You get the door. So, uh, <coughs> no police sirens then. <laughs> Listen, now, um, Pete and Ross aren't going to say anything. Time to bounce back? No, no. Um, <clears throat> listen, what I said last night... Yeah, it was the heat of the moment. Right. Yeah. I'll just, um, I'll make sure nobody sees me. It's probably best. Hi. I was hoping that, mwah, you might have telepathically worked out there was something brewing and hung the flags out. Oh. Don't worry. Pregnant, obviously. And you mustn't feel pressurised, because it's not all about you. Well, it kind of is. But earlier, to your greatest fan, Bishop Barry, I might have just... Well, actually, there's nothing might have about it. actually just came straight I'm out I'm sorry, and... Harriet, but I'm, um... I'm finishing it. But, um... I haven't even told you. It wouldn't make any difference if you did. I went away and uh, I thought about it all night. And by this morning, I, I just knew. You're finishing with me? Yeah. Why? Oh. It's Moira, isn't it? Are you with her? No. Then why are you finishing with me? Why? On the off chance she'll have you back. Ugh. It's even worse. So, the battle is finally over. I was never in battle with you. So you do know he dumped me then? I swear, I, I had no idea he was planning on ending it. Oh, come on, don't take me for a fool. Look, I... I never is... stood a chance. And I kept pushing him back to you time and again, and he still insisted it was over. And stupidly, I wanted to believe him. It was over. Is over. Oh, Harry, I'm so sorry. It should never have happened. What should never have happened? Did you sleep with him? Night before last. <laughs> when he was supposedly taking time out to think. He still cares about you. I know he does. Oh, spare me. It wasn't planned. Come on, it's been on the cards from day one. I genuinely never wanted to come between you. But you did, Moira. And I have compromised every single thing I held dear for you two. And I've tried to get you to confront how you felt about each other. And you both kept saying no. I'm sorry, but I'm not with him. Doesn't help. And I'm the one who's sorry. 
But at least you told me the truth, which is more than can be said for him. You told her. Go after her. Harriet! <laughs> Don't you dare! Do you want some tea? Well, not really. Do you? No. So? So, I don't know what you want, Kate. I can't do this. You could the other night. Harriet. Forget Harriet. That is you all over, isn't it? She's heartbroken, Kane. And not only that, she knows everything. And now she's a woman scorned. Who knows what she might say to get back at us? So that's it. Please. Please go. You mean, am I going to make trouble for Moira? And that's why you're here. I've got to ask the question. Well, I can see why she might be wondering. I mean, when you confess to a murder to an ex-copper and then you sleep with a partner, is that what you think I am? Spiteful? Or just unpredictable being a woman? Like I said, I had to ask. Look, Kane, I'm not going to pretend I'm not hurt or bothered, but, and I'm being completely honest here, the one good thing about not being with you is I don't have to deal with your lies and secrets anymore. We'll make this the last one. Now go back to Moira and leave me alone. When they say wrestling, Hey. She's not going to say anything. All she needs to do what she thinks is right. Well, it's over. Me and her, we are over. Look, I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not talking about it, I'm telling you. I don't want to talk about something that doesn't concern me. Please, Kim, maybe you should just go for now. Making this into a nursery isn't a job you should do alone. So you didn't ask me to come? It's okay, really. She said you wanted this place painting them. It's blue. But... Right. If this is a big mistake and you're not ready, then I can just go. It's fine. <clears throat> oh. I bought her this for her birthday. I caught her eye up in the shop. She looks so beautiful. Look, we can stop this, you know. We can put everything back exactly how it was. No, I think I've learned that I can't. Why don't you sit down, eh? Come on. We can talk. She kept this. Look at us. Th this was our first day here. We all thought we were going to be so happy. They want you to be. 
you know, I'm so stupid. I didn't buy enough boxes to store everything in. Would you be able to pick me some up, please? So glad you are here. <sighs> you said she'd asked for me. She did. Maybe not out loud, but she needs you by her side. I can handle my life myself. <laughs> what, separated from the woman you're clearly in love with? You belong under this roof with Moira and your boys. That's your future. Being here is how you get it. Right, I'll uh, come back tomorrow and finish off. You gonna be okay? Just get that cop moved in and we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, it is a happy room, you're right. It just feels nice. No. Thanks. So how long are you off for? A good question. I think we need to talk. Oh, you think? I'll come back later. I'll sort out the details then. Thanks, Pete. What a hero. If you're going to get mad about it, get mad at me. No one else. <sighs> it won't be forever. We were decorating a nursery together just yesterday. It was never meant to be a nursery. Since when? I'll go and see you. There's too many memories. So, um, where, where are you gonna go? My aunt's. In the middle of nowhere? It's only eight miles north of Glasgow. Kane, I need to do this. I, I can't cope with everything. Being here. And how am I um, meant to see Isaac? You're not even trying to understand. Be, be, because it, it doesn't make sense. I thought that... What? Nothing, I must have got it wrong. That's actually possible. Well, well, at least it's still standing. I'll go and get one of John's diggers, Sam, and then you can do a proper job. I'm only knocking out a few of the broken stones. I won't bother helping then, eh? Is this about Moira, eh? Well, I'd rather you talk to us, eh, than stove the house in. I've got to go into town. Right. Come on, then, what's it all about? Fair enough. I'll be an Eric's. I've been a brewer, so I'm a bit stronger if you change your mind. He's rubbish. Please don't do this. I have to. And I can't keep arguing with you about it. I've not got the strength. Right, so, so running away is going to help, yeah? That's not what's happening. Oh, you could have filmed me. I still get some backing to do. Look, why don't you stay here for a bit and spend some time with Isaac? What for? He's not going to know who I am, is he? Oh, of course he will. I just can't be here right now. Look, he's been in a really good mood, been babbling to himself. It's fine. It's your call. Look, um, I meant what I said the other week. This is our chance to be together. 
You know how I feel about you. I'll be at the footbridge at 5 p.m. If you're not there, then I'll know you don't feel the same. It doesn't work like that. Ken. I'm sorry. But there's no point in pretending. We won't be there. So this is goodbye. Five o'clock. You should tell us. Don't want a fuss. And then he turned up, and it obviously didn't go well by the look of him. Oh, hang on, I can smell something. Oh, yeah, classic attention seeking. No, she doesn't need anybody's attention. She needs to get away for a bit of peace. Well, she's coming back, right? Not sure. Of course, she's coming back. Look at that pathetic specimen over there. This is all for his benefit. Mom, she doesn't play games like that. There's obviously more to it. This on the house. There'll be a thousand other Moiras. Yes, and let that be a warning to you, eh? Mother. Well, come on, surely he's had his fill of this Scottish misery by now. She's impossible to make happy. Everyone can see that. Nice one, Mum. Well, he'll thank me for this one day, won't he? So that's it. Game over. Wasting a time. I mean, look at him. He's gone into shutdown, hasn't he? Dad. I asked her uh, <laughs> to meet me at the bridge, five o'clock. And if she's there, then. Wow. You said that. She won't be there. She's told me. Right. So you're not going to go either. Dad, you have to. You love her, don't you? Desperately. I've never stopped. Well, there you go, then. And even if she's not there, you still have to go for yourself. If she can't meet you, then... Well, then you'll know, won't you? All by myself, don't want to be... Charity! I'm just a joke to you, lot, aren't I? What are you playing at? Just having a bit of fun and lightening the mood. Oh, you were pressing his buttons. He's this close to losing it. Right, you and me are going to sort this out now, once and for all. Who is me? Yes, you! Get your keys! <laughs> <sighs> right, lady. You know how I feel about this stinking farm, so you better start talking. Go away, Charity. Go away, Charity. Do you mind? I'm actually trying to have a private moment here. All right, well, sorry for crashing it, but, you know, timing's never been my strong point. Can you just go, please? No! Because apparently you're doing a moonlight flit in broad daylight, and Debs will not be happy if I let you go. I mean, can you believe she's even blaming me for all of this? For what? I've upset Kane, haven't I? So she's gone after him, because apparently now he's gone AWOL. And all this on account of some... Grumpy Scottish farmer who can't see past her own pride and be with the man she loves. I don't love him. And what do you mean he's gone AWOL? So you do care. Right, I'm going to give you a moment, OK? It's OK. Look, I just... I need to get away. And it's no-one else's business why or what I do or where I go. Well, actually, it is our business because we've got to live with the gob on Kane, haven't we? Like a broken ape in a zoo. All sad eyes and far away. He's not my problem. You know, Chaz reckons he'll be bad for business if you go. And she'll blame you for that as well. And, you know, you don't want to get on the wrong side of her, do you? Why are you even bothered about what I do? He hated every day when he was with me. Not every day I didn't. 
Anyway, Debs has given me strict instructions to get this sorted. I'm over at charity. I'm over all of it. Him, him and Harriet, you and him, me and him. <laughs> I'm done. Well, me and him are definitely done. OK, I might not have liked you and him at the start, but yes, I can see why it worked. Personally, I never got the whole vicar thing. You love the bones of him. I can smell it a mile off. Everyone can. Love wasn't enough before, was it? And there's just something about me and him that doesn't work. Well, there's something about him and everyone that doesn't work. The difference with you two is he adores you. And you're under his skin while you're a big time. <laughs> yeah, but... And you... Do you know what? You're running out of butt. You still love him. End of. You know, I couldn't have gone through a single day what you've gone through. I need to get going. No, you need to stop running away from your life. Moira, it's OK to feel a bit of happiness again. No one's going to be judging you for that. And if there's the slightest chance... There isn't. But thanks for your concern. Same idea. What's your excuse? <coughs> yeah, I'll uh, leave you to it. I uh, hear Moira's leaving. You're just going to let her? <sighs> Look, I tried. I didn't go through all of that with you for us all to end up with nothing. It's a tough world out there. You two need each other. But if you're not up to it, fine. Go ahead and out stubborn her. Let's see you both throw away your chance. See if I can. Look, if you can counsel me, then this village is losing the best vicar they ever had. One minute after five. Well, we've got the rest of our lives together, if you fancy it.
love you so much. It hurts. I know. Obviously moved on from Harriet. Yeah. And Charity? Really? Oh, can't believe it was her finally made you see sense. Huh? She pointed out that the answer to one of my problems was staring me in the face. Guessing the uh, trip's postponed, then? Guessing right. Well, I will take him off your hands in a minute, give you some time together. I'm still left about what to do with that room. I don't want Isaac in there. Not after what happened with Holly. I can't bear the thought of walking in and... We'll sort it, OK? This is a new start, remember? The worst thing about it is, it's my fault. I couldn't be a vicar and be with Kane, So I kicked the job into touch. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got to get out of here. Oh. You need to talk to her. Oh, yeah, she's really going to like that, ain't she? Keen. There's nothing I can say, is there? It's not like I made any promises. It ended. Relationships do. Sometimes. I mean, sometimes they do. Well, shouldn't you be making a beeping sound when you're backing up like that? Like, we owe her. She protected both of us, especially me. She won't say anything about that. She told me. Either way, the least you can do is have a word with her. Please. All right. I want us to have a clean slate. If I just knew what to do with that room. I've had a thought about that as it happened. Hmm? We move my mum into Holly's room and redecorate mum's room for the baby. Job done. Actually, that might work. I've always been practical, mate. It's a gift. Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo! Still waiting. Huh? For the thanks. Who's got two thumbs and got Moira to change your mind? Thanks. Oh, please don't go on mushing me or anything. Do you know how much I hate doing you a favour? What do you want? What, what flowers? Chocolates? A big ball of string to play with? A bit of gratitude is all I'm asking. I would be grateful if I didn't have the sneaking feeling that you were going to get something out of it yourself. It's your usual M.O. Uh, can we talk? I'm sure there's anything left to say, is there? It was all said yesterday. That's why you and me are where we are now. Look, I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm glad for what we had. And I'm, I'm sorry for, um... I just didn't mean for it to turn out like this. Wow. Was that an apology? My, my, something Kane Dingle never does. I must be special. <sighs> All right. But what do you expect from me? It's fine. I'll get over it. Let's be friends. I mean, seriously. I'm just trying to do the right thing. Yes, yeah, so was I, and look where that got me. Alone and jobless. The bishop didn't want me back, so... Don't expect me to come over all magnanimous about everything, all right? Maybe it's better if, uh, you know... Yeah. Oh, come on. Come here. I haven't even been here. Neither of you saw anything. Sorry, we just heard the alarm. Uh, but we were told... I've had trouble with this man before. It's one of the reasons I'm taking over here. Come on, you've got no proof. I was told you were seen nearby. Well? Uh... Oh, yeah, I think he needs changing. Well, being helpful didn't last long. Well, you're better, right? <sighs> Come here, bud. You <laughs> <sighs> OK? I will be, once Joe gets sent down. I thought you might change your mind. No, I told you I need to do this. So... 
did you get the drugs from? Well, it's not difficult to find a deal if you know where to look. I know it was a bad idea. Holly? And after everything that happened? How could you? It was a means to an end. It is end. Yeah, well, I had to bury my daughter. Did you forget that? You know, I'll never forget that. He's trying to destroy my family. Well, drugs destroyed mine. Listen, this was my fault. He didn't want to do it. Right, I know you wanted space, but you need to know this is not on him. I don't care. How could either of you think that this is a good idea? Because he only did this for me. You know, you two were back on track. He didn't want to blow it. No more drugs. I promise. But no one, and I mean nobody, treats her the way he has and walks away laughing. This isn't over. We can't let this be over. I can help, you know. I'm fine. Yeah, you see me. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm fine, except for waiting for the police to barge in any minute. The police aren't going to barge in. They're not first these days. Oh, so now you're smart. If they were coming, they'd be here, wouldn't they? But they haven't been called. Yet, yeah, maybe. But Joe Tate strikes me as the kind of little weasel who likes to play games. Joe doesn't know. Yeah, only that Graham does. His yes man. Oh, much better. Right, it wasn't the smartest move ever, all right? I'm sorry. But it's done now and there's been no harm. <laughs> all right. We are. Are you Ross's aunt? I am. So? This phone belongs to him. I was hoping maybe one of you could give it to him. He'll need some clothes as well. He's in the hospital. Ross is? Why? What happened? Someone chucked some acid in his face. This is what? I managed to get hold of his brother. Got the impression he was heading straight out there. Why did you have his phone? We were looking for him. He'd, he'd taken my car. No. Still voicemail. I should go. No, stay. He'll have his phone switched off, won't he? The hospital and that. He'll call when he's got some news. Tell her. Pete will call her, won't he? Debbie. Yeah. Yeah, just stay. What are you doing? I'm going home, Kane. Come on. Debbie. Hey, it's me again. Look, I, I, I don't know what to do for the best, to come or not, so... Can you let me know when you get this, please? And let us know how Ross is. Bye. I should go up there. No, I'm, I'm taking you home. He's gonna be okay, you know. He's just been attacked with acid. He's Teflon man, isn't he? He's come back from the dead before. So why was Joe Tate as white as a ghost? He's always pissed, isn't he? Look, let's just get you home, eh? You coming? He's gonna do all the chatting then. Let me know if you hear anything. seen Joe Tate and he looks a little bit sick but that's because he just saw someone get acid thrown in her face. You better bring me back and you better tell me this had nothing to do with you. I'm going up there. What for? Well, why do you think, Ian? I should have gone yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Why do you want to go up there? I mean, you're the last person they want to see. Well, maybe I want to see them. You're making a mistake. Well, I can't just do nothing, Kane. He's my nephew. Who still hasn't forgiven you for killing his mum. Sorry. Yeah, I just... Why, Ross? That's what I keep asking myself. Because there's a lot of idiots out there. Yeah, and you know most of them. What? Please tell me that this has nothing to do with you and that drugs thing. Are you serious? It's yes or no, I can't Kane. believe you're asking me that. Right, tell her. Tell her what? The acid attack. Had nothing to do with us. No, he's telling the truth. Why was he attacked? You know what Ross is like, the people he hangs about with. He's probably upset someone. Oh, come on, Kane. You've really got to upset someone for them to throw acid in your face. Poor soul, he's suffered enough. Official then. CPO's been dropped. Certainly is. Yeah, electric came this morning. All we need to do now is tell Joe. Tell me again what the police said. 
Yeah. You've been over this. So the guy that was having a go at you is their main suspect? He's a suspect. It could be someone else in the frame for all we know. Police aren't going to tell us, are they? Okay. Right? Oh, just when you think you've seen everything. I'm going to get straight off to the hospital once I'm done with this. Lisa's going to have Isaac for a couple of hours. Your dad says you went to see him yesterday. Oh, poor Ross. No one, but no one deserves what happened to him. Ah, his lordship awakes. I was supposed to ten minute now. It's better than none at all. We get going. Tell Ross I'll see him later. Uh, Debbie said she's uh, going to make a cup of tea for both of you. Didn't you? Oh, thank you. All right, see you. Bye. See you, Mister. Mm. Uh, I was thinking. Why don't you come with me to the hospital? Oh, uh, maybe tomorrow. Well, it's your choice. But yesterday was the first time you've seen him since it happened. Yeah. Yeah, it was, and I, I just went to pieces. Exactly. What do you think will go through his head when you don't turn up again today? Come on. Come on. <laughs> All you're gonna do is pack my head, then you can do one. Maybe you two can tell him. Tell him what? Tell me how good I'm looking. Oh, no need to say anything, guys. I'll hold off with the selfie, shall I? You know, I think there's so much that you can do nowadays, I think you'd be surprised. Oh, great. Now you're at it, too. A couple of weeks from now and I'll probably be even more good-looking. Right? Right? The psychologist came round. You know, just to say hello. Yeah, which she did. End of story. Game over. Job done. You heard it yourself, Pete. It's not compulsory. Well, so we can all see the, the pain that you're in, and I'm sorry. You'll never know how much, but you should get the help that they're offering to you. Hello again. Oh, I'm sorry. I can come back. Well, that's all right. We'll leave you to it. The nurse said you'd ask to speak to me. Yeah. Just to shut them up, though. So, I thought that we could have a little chat. I mean, nothing to worry about. Good. Because I'm not much of a worrier. Things are never as bad as they look, are they? Right, well, I'll come and see you again tomorrow, OK? Thank you. Dad. Um, do you mind if Debbie stays? No, it's absolutely fine. I mean, whatever works for you. I'll wait outside. Days. Surprise! Surprise. <laughs> wow, that's, that's brilliant. Hang on. Happy birthday, my gorgeous girl. <laughs> so go on, how did you do that? I mean, did you kick Paddy because his surprise was so lame? No, actually, I was trying to hit a pinata. Don't ask. Sorry, I'm late. Alarm, got its head stuck in a gate. Uh, um, I'll be right back with you, people, because if I don't take a comfort break now, you're going to have to get a mop. But, you know, carry on. Told you. Only for the next 18 years. Come on, they're worth every magical, mystical moment, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Have you not heard a knocking? Well, I live here! <laughs> it is a bit early in the day. <laughs> you can talk with your Portuguese knickers. Go on, give us a twirl. <laughs> it's not funny. I can't... 
relax if my mum's going to barge in. Well, it's my sofa too, and you do not have exclusive rights to nook it. Yeah, go on, carry on. <laughs> we'll nip upstairs to the sombre d'amour. <laughs> carry on? Carry on while you and my mum are upstairs? Well, come on, son, use your words. I didn't bring you up to be prudish. You didn't bring me up at all. Move! Tasting menu. Will I ever learn? It's not going to work, you and me both living at Moira's. So who? Me. I don't want any repeats of this morning. Moira's her landlady, not you. And she hadn't told me you've officially moved in? That's because it's blindingly obvious, but you'd know that if you didn't spend every night with your boyfriend. Not every night, Kane. I like to keep some mystique. But I'm giving you fair warning. You need to make other plans. He can't throw out his own mother. Tell her she's a massive sponger. Hey, I've stuck on. by Moira more than you have, excuse me. I can't live here with my mum, it's weird. Well, you live with your dad for long enough and he's hardly normal. <laughs> Time, children, please. And who even mentioned Faith moving out? He has, he's trying to bully me. Well, if I'm to stay here permanently, she has got to go. Well, I'm glad there's an if there, because for a minute there, I thought we'd discussed it. Well, some things, that they're unspoken, aren't they? Oh, really? This is supposed to be a fresh start with no baggage. You should have thought of that before you rogered the vicar! Shut up! <laughs> right, enough! Right. Faith is staying. And I'll let you know when I'm ready to clear you out a draw. Fancy a brew? I don't want anything from you. Oh dear, someone got you the wrong side of bed. Oh, it's all right for you, isn't it? Because you can sleep through anything. But you didn't hear the noises her and Eric were making last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's still here. <coughs> Missing something? <laughs> Only my son being a spoilt little diddums, as per usual. Uh, perhaps uh, we should uh, <clears throat> breakfast elsewhere. One of these days, my lad, I am going to put you over my knee. How is any of this funny? You know, you need to start rubbing along with her if you're serious about moving back here permanently. Or you could just tell her to get lost. I need her here. I mean, she helps out with the farm and she attempts to cook and she helps keep the house clean. <sighs> Cooking and cleaning, anyone can do that. Well, I hardly see you bother. Right, OK, you're on. I'll get Dan to cover the garage this morning. I'll clean the house for you today and I'll, uh, I'll cook some tea for you later. And what? If I'm impressed, I sling her out? You don't think you can do it, do you? Well, I know you can't, but fair enough. Impress me. Yeah, I will. I will. OK? OK? But make it dinner for four, because uh, I'll be inviting your mum and Eric to join us. Right. What's wrong with you? Yeah, it's me. What are you doing? Eat. How did you get that working? I plugged it into the socket. Yeah, so did I. But you didn't switch the socket on. Well, clean enough for you. Uh, yeah, it'll do. Mm. Never satisfied him. Have you finished? Just reducing the dill sauce. What have you cooked? Well, um, poached egg and asparagus, for starters, followed by... Prawn and smoked salmon ravioli, baby. I say keep it simple. This is simple. No, steak and chips is simple. 
She's never going to believe that I cooked this. She never going to believe... Look, you followed a recipe, OK? Trust me, she will be impressed. She better be. What's the missing is burnt the toast? Hide. What? Where? Uh, the bedroom, go on. No funny business. Mmm, something smells good. Yeah, uh, I've been serving away all morning. You haven't worked up much of a sweat. Do you want feeding or what? Hey, we all do. And look at this place. Well done, love. Huh? <laughs> you know, why don't you go make some prawn and salmon <laughs> ravioli or whatever it was? I don't know what you see in him. Hmm. Faith feels the same. Reckons today's fiasco is another reason why I shouldn't let you move in. Well done. Yeah, but the thing is, I want to. Well, could have feel me. Can't you stop being difficult? I can't cope with the constantly in my face. <laughs> Why? Because you might tell you from time to time. OK, right. Um, how would you cope if your mum moved in with us? No. She is a nightmare. Yeah, well, there you go, then. Me and her, we, 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 it has to be small doses. I've only just stopped hating her. We need space. Honestly, honestly, I, I, I'm not trying to be difficult here. OK, if that's what it takes, I'll have a word with her. On one condition. Yeah, go on. You stop sulking in here and you come home. Come on. You're going to be phoning Charles every time you fancy a titty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's worse than you, sister. So I'll uh, go and get Kyle's stuff. And uh, then we can all relax. Hey. Well done for not kicking off. Yeah, well, Kyle's been moved from pillar to post, and I don't want him living in a war zone. But seriously, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Have you spoke to her yet about moving on? No, not yet. But I will. I promise. Uh-huh. Not awkward at all. Have I missed something? No, no. We're fine. Not the king. Yeah. They're about as good as it gets. Your daddy. <laughs> he was a lazy article, he was. All right, come on. <laughs> Who's been switching all the plugs off? I was actually recording stuff. What stuff? Alaskan survival. It's about these people who live off grid. They hunt their own food and stuff. It's quite good. It's even better when you can actually watch it. Yeah, well, about the plug. <laughs> Look, it might have been me. It might have been me, meaning it was. I'm just trying to save you money. I mean, it's not good to leave things switched on all the time, you know. Well, what is done is done. It's not the end of the world. Hey, honey, why don't you pop out and get something nice for supper? And maybe take Kyle with you? Trips in round the supermarket with Kyle is really going to love that, isn't he? Well, you don't mind, do you? Can I have some tap cuts? Ooh, of course you can. That'll be OK, won't it? Yay! Right, come on, kid. We've been given our marching orders. Get your coat. Yeah. Fancy gin? Uh, need you ask. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Faith, I can't tell you how grateful I am. Oh, well, we all are. Before you go on, there is something that I have been meaning to say to you. Huh? Go on. Yeah, well, I've loved being here. You know that. <laughs> but, you know, I've always had itchy feet. <laughs> Never stayed in one place for too long. And I do believe my work here is actually done now. Right. <laughs> I see. Because uh, even though I do tease Kane <laughs> a little bit, He's really stepped up to the mark, and I think you two need a bit of space. And to be honest with you, so do I. <laughs> Where will you go? No idea. <laughs> but that's half the fun, isn't it? <laughs> you right? Are you doing all you can get climbing frames? <laughs> no, it's not as much fun, though, is it? <laughs> Listen, uh, sorry about last night. What about last night? Nothing. Right, well, that's got me convinced. There was nothing. Well, Ross was 
a little bit Ross-like. With you? It was nothing. Hang on, when you say Ross-like, do you mean that he was sarcastic or violent? Oh, not violent as such. What did he do? He grabbed her. Well, we went to cheer him up and um, it was a bad idea. So what was it over? Yeah, what wasn't it? He's all over the place, isn't he? He won't see the little and won't have a skin graft. He's refused one. Yeah, he won't even talk about it. Well, would it help if I went and talked to him? It couldn't harm, could it? Oh, I never know what could cause harm. Probably best just leaving it, I reckon. Why do you think that? Because he obviously doesn't want bothering, so I'll just leave it. All right, see you later. I'm going to see Ross later if you want to come along. Or if not, this will be the last time you see us for a week. No, no. No, I'll be there. There's um, some stuff that I want to talk to him about anyway. All right, well, we'll be sure to have a good time anyway, thanks. What? Have you any idea what we've been talking about for the past five minutes? As in, we're going on holiday? Yes. I told you about it yesterday. Yeah, I know. I know, I've just not woken up properly, that's all. Bad night? Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> Right, well, I need to get going anyway, so... Yeah, I'll catch you up. I'll see you at the hospital. Mm-hmm. Go on, you... you go. Hi! Uh, everyone, um, can I have your attention, please? Thank you. Uh, me and the padster have got a little announcement to make. Oh! Uh, we wanted to do it all in one go, uh, rather than in dribs and drabs, as it were, B because some of you know some things and, uh, well, some of you don't, so... Oh, Paddy, for goodness sake, you're killing us here. We're pregnant. Well, you won't surprise me when you go for it. <sighs> Listen, sweetheart, look, I know, I, I know you should have been the first person to know, but, it, well... It's been complicated and I'm sorry. Mum, if you're happy, I'm happy. Oh, thank you. <gasps> so, Paddy, things obviously took a very different turn then, didn't they? Yeah. Thank you so much for your support. It's cool, family. It's in the contract. Paddy? Finally made it then, eh? Made what? Married Mandy, married Emily, now this. Your ends will be a dingle, won't you, eh? <laughs> but we can take the responsibility. <laughs> I'll try. I'm, I'm so glad you decided to do this. I would have supported you, whatever. I know, I know. It's just that I've decided I'm going to try and be better at this whole mum thing this time. Well, that's all you can do, love. <laughs> oh! Nice one, mate. Thank you. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? Oh, no, don't worry about it. So I'm just a bit... Listen, I've got to go and check on the kitchen, but congrats, eh? Moses has conked out. Drinking time for Mummy. Hurry up. Thank you. And for you, though. I'm going to get quite tough with you through this time. Tough, really? Tough-esque. Mm, I like it. <laughs> do we have to do this? Yeah, come on. It's best to just get it over with, like, ripping off a plaster. Can we have some menus, please? You think I'd serve her? I'm sure our money's as good as anyone else's. Well, the thing is, Lisa nearly died, so no amount of money will kind of put that right. Well, I'm getting punished, if that makes you feel any happier. Oh, yeah, I'm sure community service will really sting. Hive his jacket, picking up later. How will you cope? As it happens, she's facing prison. Does that make everyone else feel better? Might perk Lisa up. You might as well go. You can see you're not welcome. No, really? This is a pub, as in public, so we've every right to be here. Look, can we just go, please? We shouldn't have come here in the first place. OK, fine. I suppose it's only to be expected. A new lot. Up to your neck in all sorts. But it doesn't stop you passing judgment on everyone else, does it? Did you hear that? She's gone to prison. All the more reason for you to keep your head down, then, isn't it? What did Debbie say to you once I left here this morning? Guess. Not the usual. Nothing. In one. She was really quiet at the hospital, too. I think she's OK. Yeah, it's just having a bad day, I reckon. Mm. Right, you lot. I'll see you all in a week. Mm, have a good one. Congrats. Thank you. Marla? Mm. You all right? 
shouldn't I be? I hope I'm not being weird, but I just thought you might be a bit more enthusiastic. You know, because we're going for it. We're having a baby. Oh, oh, Paddy, not weird, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. What it is is, seeing Lisa in hospital, it's just not me back a bit, that's all. But I am thrilled to bits for you, I promise. But somebody's just walked in and might not be if you don't tell her personally. Can I have a word? Word were you? About what? You know what. And I hope you listen, young lady, because I tell you now, God help Joe Tate if you didn't. Here yet. Doesn't look like it. Uh, we're meant to be meeting them for tea, aren't we? Oh well, me and you can have a wee catch up until he gets here. I know how upset everyone is. But this is Lisa. She never meant to get anyone in any trouble. Well, not this much trouble. <laughs> and how's that worked out for everyone? We all make bad calls, Jazz. Yeah. Teenage girls make them all the time, Zach. <laughs> I just don't get it. I mean, not so long ago you'd have Joe strung up and now you're an item. Oh, so you don't believe in second chances? Moira, you may as well find yourself a brick wall and bang your head against it. Anybody else want to join in with this? Mm, yes, me, please. I think this family's got enough troubles of its own without putting that man in the mix. Where is that daddy of yours? Come on, let's go sit down. <laughs> oh, dear. Maybe your dad's paid your boyfriend a little visit. Come on, Kane. If you were going to do me and you would have done it by now. In and out, bang. Could have been anyone. I'm sure there's quite a queue. Yeah, there is. And I'm right in the front of it. The thing is, I want you to know who did this. Did what? Beat me up? Taught me a lesson? Wiped the smile off my face? Yeah. All of the above. Debbie? Does she know you're here? Ah, I get it. You want to play the hero. Daddy saves the day. Don't make it worse for yourself. I don't think you're going to do anything, Kane. You know why? Because Ross Barton had half of his face burnt off. And we both know who's responsible. And by that reaction, I reckon you know just how naughty your daughter's been. I blame the parents. You need to stop talking. The thing is, you should be thanking me. I gave our friend Simon a hundred thousand reasons not to mention her name. And while I'm quite confident you'd be happy spending that time in jail, the thought of Debbie doing the same? Leaving Jack and... Sarah without their mummy? I don't think so. You may be holding the hammer, Kane, but I'm afraid I'm holding all the cards. Is that right? Yeah. And, uh, just between you and me, I'm gonna miss having her around. Everyone needs a plaything to occupy their time, don't they? <coughs> Stop talking! <coughs> Go home. I can't. Not now. Phone the police. Do you know what he's been doing? Do you know what he's done to Debbie? You want him, you go through me first. Then you're gonna get hurt as well. Comes with a job. He's been blackmailing my daughter. Do you think I'm gonna let that go? No. I don't. You should never have come back. What the hell are you doing? He came here to kill me. He's using your guilt against you. This has to stop now. But I deserve all of this. You kill him, and we lose you forever. We're going home now. What have you done? You need to talk to me eventually. Or are you just going to pretend like none of this ever happened? You let him win. You realise that, don't you? 
Oh, and by you killing him, that'd be a win for me, would it? How? When you'd be in prison for the next 20 years? I just went there to scare him, all right? But he, he wouldn't stop talking. He was pushing me and pushing me and I just snapped. I just want you to promise me that you are not going to go up there. If we lose you, that is when he wins. Dad. Well, come right in, why don't you? No need to knock. They've got Aaron. Who? Sid. The guy you laughed at, the guy you said was a joke. He's, he's just video called me. Where? Well, if I knew that, I'd be there, not here. But well, what did you see? Um, anything to help? He, he, was, he was in a van. I mean, not that there's a shortage of any of them around. It's a start. He said he wants that hundred grand. I, I've only got ten. He says we've got two hours or he's going to kill him. No, they won't. Oh, because you've been spotting about him so far. Right, you just need to calm down, right? We, we need to think straight. He wants the money, so if he kills Aaron, there's no incentive. Are you willing to bet his life against that, are you? You work on finding the money, I'll work on finding Aaron. Find him how? Stop asking questions and just go. Don't leave a mic out. What is it? Don't you lie to me. Kill Aaron. Oh, this is crazy. Can you get the money? Robert's on it. And have you called the police? If he even gets a sniff the police involved, he'll kill Aaron. And they'll connect us to Adam's getaway. So what are we going to do? We? What, you think I'm going to stand by while some thug has Aaron? Well, I thought I might get in touch with the McFarlane's, see if they know where Sid is, and they might have heard something. Right, let's go. What did they say? <sighs> Same as before. They've no idea where Sid is and they don't care either. Turns out I did a number on his nephew. His nephew? Why? <sighs> Bought a leather jacket off the kid. Zip bust. Kid won't give him the money back. So, he put him in hospital. Well, if nobody knows where he is, how are we going to get Aaron back? I've honestly no idea. It's Robert. Yeah. What's she doing here? Let's get on with it. Ooh, she's a keeper, that one. Money first. How about this first? Don't take me for a fool, Kane. J J put it down. I I've got the money. I don't want any violence. I, I just want Aaron back. Drop it. All this ain't happening. Where is he? If you've hurt him! Come on, get out. Your missus is here. Money, now! Are you all right? It's good. Let's get over here. Let's go. Thanks for the dosh. I'll enjoy spending that. Look, we've got our own bag, that's the main thing. Come on. I'm sorry about the money. No, you're okay, that's all that matters. If they killed you, I'm fine. Yeah, you can bring Seb back whenever you're ready. And, uh, yeah, thanks for looking after me. You really stopped me worrying. You need to keep an eye on him. I will do. I'm just glad you're all back safe and sound. Yeah, and a hundred grand liar. Well, it was my money, so it was my choice. How did you get it, anyway? It doesn't matter now, it's over, so... Well, I'll tell you what does matter. We keep this between us. I don't want my mum or Liv finding anything out about it. Agreed. Well, I'm fine. We'd be worrying them for nothing. Fine. Right, come on, we best be getting back. Now, if you need anything, just call, OK? Thanks, Robert. Yeah. Thanks, Robert.
Sid's gone. The McFarlane's confirmed it. He's halfway across the Atlantic and under Grand Richard. So, come on. How did you raise it? Well, let's just say there's probably a removal van on the way round to ours right now. It's about money. It's about getting one over on Joe, right? Think about it. He comes in tomorrow. You're still sat there, in your chair, fully employed. Nothing's changed. And there's nothing he can do to stop it. Plus, I need you. Joe will push me out next. He'll take complete control if you're not there with me. And this is what attack? It's completely legal. And a deal. I don't know exactly what's going on between Pete and Ross, but maybe I should come to court too. Oh, that lad needs his family there. Yeah, what, what about the farm? You said yourself that you've got loads on there today. It's only one day, Kane. Yeah, like Faith said, I'm sure Ross can do with all the support he can get. Yeah, and he'll get it. The best thing you can do right now, for all concerned, is, is look after the family business. Well, pardon me for breathing, but... Look, I'm not doing anything today. Don't you worry. I can happily be there, wave the flag of support for you. Thanks, Faith. OK, will you call me as soon as you know anything? Yes. Huh? It was Simon who attacked Ross. What? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want you getting involved. Involved in what? What's been going on? You know those drugs you got a hold of the day before Ross was attacked? Who did you really get them from? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For what? Scoring off Holly's supplier or getting him to disfigure my nephew? I didn't. It was a mistake. It wasn't supposed to be Ross. It... Simon got it wrong. It was meant for Tate. What? We just wanted to scare him a bit, beat him up. We? Me? I had no idea. Well, stop treating me like a fool, Kane. Who else was in on it? Go on. Seriously, Kane, you need to start being honest with me. <sighs> Debbie. Well, you'd have done the same if it was one of your kids. Debbie! She, she wanted revenge on Tate. She didn't know Simon was going to get the wrong blow. She had no idea how far he was going to go. She definitely didn't know he was going to use acid. She hates herself for what's happened. Well, she's not alone there. Stay. At last. What's the urgent? I had to tell Maura. Tell her what? Everything, um, you, Simon. Dad! She'd more or less worked it out well, herself. What did she say? I don't know, she just went, oh, she's not answering her phone, neither. <gasps> so, so what, where's she gone? She gone to the police? No, she won't do that. And what if she tells Ross? She won't. Oh, come on, it's her nephew. Yeah, and I'm her husband. Trust me, it's gonna be fine. <sighs> so what do you reckon? Where have you been? Sorting things out. Yeah, thanks for being so understanding. No worries. Go and fetch your kids. Have you gone to the police? I'm a dingle. We don't do that. Thanks. How can I judge Debbie after what I did to Emma? At least Ross is still alive. Yeah. She never meant for it to go that far. I know. So are you going to tell him? No, what good would that do? But next time you or your daughter do something you think I shouldn't know about, I expect to be told. Of course. No, I mean it, Kane. You keep promising not to lie to me. But from now on, that's a promise you need to keep. I was just trying to protect you. Well, don't. For better or worse. That's the deal. OK. Thanks. I just need a signature for the meet. What news? Who's Bales? Moira, you may as well hear this as well now, OK? He's a copper. I was 14. It was after I'd had Debs, OK? My dad kicked me out. 
So I was living on the streets. I was... I was working on the streets. And that's when I met Bales, OK? And um, he found me a flat to live in. For free? No, babe. No. Not for free. I had to do what he wanted. So I told myself that he was my boyfriend, but... It wasn't that. No, it wasn't that. Did you make you have sex with him? Why didn't you tell me? Please. Don't kick off right now. And you didn't report him at the time? I tried to. I mean, come on, I was a kid. With a record. He was a copper, yeah, so... I covered it up. But, hey, I'm going about this the right way now. I'm doing the right things. I'm talking to the police and they're investigating everything. It's just they need to get evidence to get him, OK? Are you with me so far, babe? Because I hate telling you this and, and I... I didn't think I'd ever have the need, but... Yesterday, I... I made a bit of a scene in front of some cameras and journalists. So I need you to know the facts, yeah? But are the facts, though? What? Are you really telling the truth? Right, you can spend the... We've just told you something really difficult and... You think I'm making it up? Leave it, Charity. Babe, why would you say that? One word, Joe. You can't blame everything on Joe. Let's just let Noah speak. Go on, darling. The last time we had a big talk, it was about my dad. About how he hated you enough to kill himself. Yeah, but that wasn't my fault. Joe reckons it was. And it's not just my dad. You're the reason Declan left. And you almost sent Sam to prison. And you took Marlon's savings. You lie about everything. Not this. This is way too serious. <laughs> More serious than selling me to Aunt Zoe. I want to trust you, but I can't. Grim, you can just sit there and enjoy your sandwich. I could strangle her sometimes. You look whacked. Yeah, well, I was up and down most of the night. Well, it's my turn tonight, isn't it? What? What do you mean, what? You never wake up. You just give us a nudge. Oh, well, don't you worry. So, um, <clears throat> have you got any, uh, any plans for tomorrow night? Why ask? I'm just wondering. Apart from clubbing, no. Right, somebody needs a lie down. Go on, I'll stick around here. I'll get someone to cover at the garage. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. In the meantime, I can make arrangements for tomorrow night. I'd have thought she'd be horizontal. I need to sit down. Yeah. Oh, can you get me a packet of cheese and onion crisps, please? What are you up to tomorrow night? Mm -hmm. Mother, excuse me. Tomorrow night, what are you up to? Hey, uh, nothing. What? Do you want me to babysit? Well, if that's OK with you. You've remembered. Yeah. Which is more than she has. Well, can you blame her year she's had? Well, I'm trying to keep under wraps, so keep your cake all short, yeah? Me! I've just come to pick him up. Is he upstairs? Mm, it'd probably help if I knew what you were talking about. Oh, hasn't Kane told you then? Told me what? Nothing. Yeah, my lips are sealed. Oh. Go get him. So, you remembered our anniversary then? Well done. It was meant to be a surprise. Oh, don't blame your mother. I'm not stupid. It was obvious something was going on. Yeah, it was nothing fancy, anyway. I was just going to get a takeaway, a neck a bottle or two. Mm. Anyway, happy anniversary. Hard. Thanks. Mm. Even... <sighs> hey, at least you didn't try and cook this time. <laughs> but thank you, though. It was lovely. And we should definitely do it more often. Mm. Yeah. No, 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 leave it. 
This is the first time we have been on our own for months. We are not spending it washing up. Well, yeah, so it's me. <clears throat> Listen, um... This might be a bit soon, but, you know, I just thought... Mm -hmm. What with it being our anniversary and that... Right. And you can... You can say if you if you think I'm being soft. What are you trying to say, Ken? I just thought you might, you know. I think it's a lovely idea. Romantic, even, but don't worry, I won't tell anybody. <laughs> Come here, you. <sighs> It's funny, eh? Great minds think alike. <laughs> Come on. Happy anniversary. A better for worse. Can we, uh. Can we just skip to the best bit, you know? To have a doll. Ah, so that's what all this is about? Mm, pretty much. So yeah. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're here. Are you working? That's the plan. Oh, two yards of fence have been shoved over, went more or less, you know, behind the little barn where the lambs are. <laughs> Nothing's escaped as of yet, but it's not going to last. It's not going to last, so. Right. Fence then. Yeah, thanks. I hate it when people insult me candles. It gets on me wick. Wick. You keep your money. And enjoy your karma. Yes, enjoy your karma. What was all that? Nothing. Cheers. Might not be my last. And this morning. What would you have said if I hadn't come in? I don't know. I wasn't going to drop Debbie in it, if that's what you mean. You can't... You can't tell him anything. You know that, don't you? I know that. I don't like being pressured to lie. Where are you going? It's Jazzy's party later. Then I'll be back later. Hiya! Hiya? You'll be sick. Oh, hang on. Just let me get this call. Yeah. You what? Right, were. Is he stupid? Have you spoken to him? Right, will you tell him from me he needs to go as far away as possible? Don't bring me back until you've got some good news. Here's that. It's just a supply. <laughs> well, you need to work on your phone, man. Yeah, we all know that. Yeah. Here you go, little man. Got it? Hey, did you hear about Doug and Brenda? Uh, they both won prize in the Bowl Order of the Year award. Far from it. Listen, if you're having problems with someone, do you want me to have a word with them? Eh? Your supplier? Oh, no, no. It's just I can be a touch more patient than you and, dare I say it, persuasive. You know, without resorting to threats of dismemberment, I mean. No, it's sorted. Okay. I'm a cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo? Well, I'll tell you what, you're not coming home if you are. <laughs> now, don't worry, he's only put a little dent in the door and put out one of your mirrors. <laughs> right, well, maybe we should play in the cricket field instead, eh? I'll get the courts. Ooh, football and picking things up. Your father is surpassing himself today, isn't he? Uh, don't forget that one. Oh, right. <sighs>
on then. Come on. Can you jump out any quicker? He's still here. What well, I told you not to call me until it's done, so just get it done. Get what done? What are you doing here? Get what done? Uh, he's, uh, he's gonna be late for playgroup. No, 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 Kane, get what done? <sighs> Kane! Kane, this isn't what we do anymore. We don't hide or lie or keep secrets. Sam is back. Oh, no. Kane, no. If you go after him, it'll be like you're starting it all, all over again. I'm not going after him. I'm just going to get rid of him. Is this what you mean by getting it done? No, no, of course not. Not like that, no. The bloke who's clocked him just needs to tell Simon that he's been seen. That I know. And? And then he'll go away. Somewhere where Ross can't find him. So what if Simon doesn't go away? He will go away. Just don't even think about it. What? Ross can't know that Simon's back. I know. <sighs> yeah? You sure? Right. He's gone. Really? And how? Is he hurt? No, no, he's not hurt. But he's gone. It's done. Why do you want this? It's mine. <laughs> Hannah Barton's birth certificate. How do you know? Was she your girlfriend? What do you care? But how is she mixed up in this? Where is she? And what have you done to her? Hey, 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 Kane! What's going on? Let him go. Hiya, Mum. Hannah? You said you were called Matty. Yeah, uh, I am. It's Hannah Kane. Mum, I've missed you. Me too. Why are you... Um, you look so different. Yeah. Good, that's... that's good. Is it? Yeah, um... I've been, um... I'm living as a man now. That's Matty. Cos, um... That's who I am, Mum. Milk and two sugars, or has that changed too? No. That's still the same, that. So, um... Mum, sit down. You must have. Thanks. Like, loads of questions for me. Yeah, I, I, I do. It's just, um... This, this isn't how I wanted to do it. Just, you know, drop it on you out of the blue. <sighs> My counsellor urged me to let you know without showing you first, by, you know, calling your email and give, give you time to prepare for who I'm now being so different. <sighs> Helps families get to grips with it all, Mum. It does it. Apparently. I didn't want to do it over the phone. And once I started living like this, yeah, I just... I couldn't go back to how it was, Mum. So you, um... You have a counsellor? She's amazing, yeah. Um, 
seeing me through the whole transitioning and just, you know, giving me a lot of courage. And like just... transitioning, you mean? Living as male rather than female. I mean, did you go to tell you to do that or did she try and talk some sort of sense to you? She does talk sense. But I should, you know, I should, I should be true, shouldn't I, to, to who I am, Mum? Why now, Hannah? Matty. Why now, all of a sudden? None of this is sudden, Mum. I've, I've already been living as a man for almost two years. I have been wanting to for as long as I can remember. But why come back now? Here, like this. You've avoided me all this time. Even after Holly died, you couldn't be bothered to show your face here. Why? I just thought I just started the hormones. You had enough going on without having to come to terms with all this. Look, I don't want to know why you didn't come. I want to know why you did. Now, today, why now? All right, I reckon it was for this. Your breath certificate. After everything we went through without you, when we needed you, this is what you came home for. I needed the certificate to change my gender officially. Here he is. Oh. And here you are, and all. Fingers and toes still intact, are they? Mum, um, take him through there, will you? Yeah, OK, boo. Well, whoever you are, you're no pro, cos I could smell your aftershave through the door. Is this... It's Isaac? Who are you, anyway? I'm Matty. It's Hannah. Hey, it's, it's, it's nice to meet you. I'm your... I'm your big bro. Faith, could you put him down for me, please? Look, it's not catching, you know. Faith. I only wanted to say hello. Just don't want you confusing him. <clears throat> so, um... You blame me for ruining your life? Well, I did back then, yeah. I had, had nothing to do with this, you know. Obviously, Kane. Look, my life isn't ruined now. I fixed the only thing I could. Me. So you're going to call him or what? You know you can make this right. I need you to take a look at the tractor from me after you drop Kyle off, please. I think the gears are sticking again. Have a good day at school. Tractor keys. Bye. I was looking for you outside. You found me. One tractor fixed. Oh, thanks. Look, it was a shock. You lashed out. It doesn't mean you can't make up for it. She left. What's the point? Well, you didn't exactly give... give him much choice. Him? He wants to be a man. He, he looks like a man. And it's that simple. I'm just as out of my depth here as you are. But we both know that you want him to come back. You don't know what I want. You've got no idea how this... any of this feels. It's just... <sighs> Holly died. I'm aware of that. Well, I would have thought that Hannah was welcome no matter what he did or he didn't do or, or, or what he looked like. It's not about what she looks like. No. No. So what's it about them? 
So? I looked it up. Why she'd want to do it. And? Oh, it's all this stuff about people going through hell. Like looking in the mirror and feeling sick. Not wanting to get into the shower because they have to see their own body. But Hannah's got a beautiful body that I gave her. I don't want her to hate it. I want her to love herself like I love her. How could she not? She's perfect. I don't know. It's... If this is what she has, or how she really feels, why couldn't she tell me? Maybe you'll find that out if you talk. When Isaac was born, Adam was on remand, and I begged her to come home, but it was just excuse after excuse. But none of this is your fault. Oh, she was so unhappy and scared, and she couldn't come to me for help. And it's like you said, Holly died and she didn't. And I failed her. I failed the only daughter I've got left. Dying for it to turn around. Oh, here we are. <laughs> oh, well, Moro didn't look too happy out there. She's gone off the deep end, hasn't she? Thinks all this is down to her. Look, a daughter sporting a beard, it's not the kind of thing you take in your stride. Yeah, well, a bit of warning could have helped her. Oh, she'll come round, leave her be. Yeah, cos that worked so well before, didn't it? She just needs a kid. We can't let her mess this up. <laughs> Come in here, love. I just need to chew your ear a bit. Oh, Faith, I'm done talking about it. Just listen, then. No, thanks. Look, I know you didn't find out in the best way and you're playing catch-up, but it's not the end of the world and none of this is your fault. All right, well, thanks for pointing that out. I feel fine about everything now. Moira, you love that girl. That girl doesn't exist anymore. She told me so herself. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic. I, I can't make her want to let me in. I can't change the fact that she shut me out of this for two years. But... No, Faith, she's cut me off. And if anyone who understands how that feels, it should be you. That's hardly the same. She came back here. She tried to hide. She doesn't want me to know this new person, this Matty. And maybe it's for the best. Maybe I don't want to know that person either. Guess she didn't send this then. He shouldn't have done that. Well, he came back. So he must have wanted to sort things. Hmm. Not anymore. I would have handled it. If she'd have told me from the start, I would have helped her. So, help now? How? She's a stranger who hates me. Right, if there wasn't love there, that, that text would have been deleted. She was so quiet before. Gentle. We hardly ever argued. Well, she's a pig-headed bloke now, and you're as stubborn as a mule, so I... I'll go get Isaac from his nap. Look, um... He's not a stranger. He's your kid. And I, I don't know much about this, but that I do know. And, and I know what a great mum you are. So be one. I've messed it up. And everything I say is wrong. I just want Hannah back. Look, <clears throat> you both said things you didn't mean. I meant all of it. He's decided, so maybe just leave it. You're not going anywhere. Only me. I, uh, <clears throat> I went to see if I could talk some sense into him. You? It was worth a try. Well? Well, I thought I could try and explain why you're being like you are. Didn't do any good, though. It's 
So you took it upon yourself to sort things out. But the only reason she left was because I wasn't there with you. No, he left because of how you've been since he turned up. And why didn't you call me? I didn't think it'd help. Why didn't you call me when he said he wanted... When she said that she wanted to see me? It wasn't like that. I mean, you use my phone. Tell her to come here without me even knowing. And then you find her and put the last nail in the coffin by making her go. Me? It was you who made him go. Why can't you just leave it alone? Why can't you ever let me deal with my own problems? Because you said you wanted your daughter back. I didn't ask you to go get her. God, you always have to be the big man, don't you? Sticking your nose into my kids thinking you know best. Do you have any idea what it's like for me without Adam? Because I didn't get to say goodbye and you took that from me and he's never coming back. Wasn't that enough? This isn't Adam, it's, it's Matty. Oh, would you stop saying that name and stop saying he and, and, and stop pretending that you're okay with this. I am okay with it. Oh, right, well, then just go. Where? I don't care, just as long as it's not here. But yeah, well, what good's that gonna do? Because it'll stop me doing something I regret. Right, Moira. No, Cain, this is my daughter. This is my own problem, so please, please just let me deal with it. And just go. I can understand them having a domestic and she kicking them out, but why bring the kids? She needed some space. How long they'll stay? As long as they like. He needs to go home and apologise. Who says it's his fault? Well, he must have done something for Maura to kick him out. Morning, sleepyhead. You gonna mm. make him a brew? When you were up late, I could hear you prowling. You ready to talk about it? About what? The reason you ended up here. Oh, uh, I came to pick up the kids, but... Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to say jazzes. Oh, no need to drag these two all around the village. I was happy to have you here, I always am. But I don't like to think of you and Moira falling out, and I'm assuming it was over Matty. Take her some flowers. Normally does the trick. Yeah. I'm going to David's. Take her some flowers, go home, patch things up. With any luck, she'll have forgotten all about it. Talk of the devil. Pal. Look, I can take him to school, leave you two to talk. Depends what she's got to say. I'm sorry I kicked you out. And? And what? And what about blaming me for everything? I've lost Hannah. Yeah, you're right, you have. But you can still have Matty if you don't drive him away. I could have got through to her if you hadn't interfered. Stop making all this about me. This is, this is about who your child is. You don't understand. I do understand. I understand this must be really hard for you. But you know what? It's even harder for him. I'm going to take Carl to school, so I'll deal with my kid. Why don't you deal with yours before it's too late? Hey, when are you coming home? I thought you might need some space to sort things out with Matty. <laughs> Didn't even go looking for him, did you? What's the point? Why are you being like this? This isn't you. If you come to have another go at me. No, I haven't. And I shouldn't take it out on you. I know you're not to blame. It's just... I just want my daughter. I want both my daughters, but it's not going to happen, is it? I've lost them. I took it out on you when you didn't deserve it. But I really don't want to lose you as well. Don't be daft. 
Come here. Yeah, they've called the wedding off. <clears throat> For now, anyway. Said to say sorry to you all. Why, what's happened? Kane. They, um... They got some bad news. A few weeks ago. About the baby. And, uh... They've been trying to deal with it in their own way, but I think it's all got too much. What bad news? What's wrong? Margarita. Faith, she's not going to make it. Not for more than a few hours after she's born. I just want to talk. Please call me back. Love you. No wonder he doesn't call back. You've left the same message three times a day since. What? Since I sent him packing? I know I could have handled things better, but I'm doing everything I can to make this right. Yeah, but you're not going to solve anything by stalking him, are you? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Marlon, meat delivery is missing. Yeah, I'll drop it off now. Uh, Chasm had his wedding present. What do we do? Keep hold of it. They, they will get married. You know, once this is all blown over. You know, I look at your family. One crisis after another, and you all pull together. I mean, Chas and Paddy, what they are going through. I lose two children and then drive another one away. Hey. We will get through this. All right, so my... Catch you later. All right. More. I mean, whatever I say to her, it's going to be wrong. Now, Hannah, she's my wee girl. This Matty is a stranger. Right, he'll have got your messages. <sighs> he'll call you when he's ready. Where's my phone? I must have left it in the van. It's on the table at home. You left it there? I thought you could do with a break from it. All you've done for the last couple of weeks is stir it every five minutes. She's called and I've missed it. Without your mobile, and guess what? You survived. Hello? Yes, that's me. Yes? Y y I'll get there as soon as I can. Thank you. What's up? He's in hospital in Leeds. Head injuries. He was assaulted in the early hours of the morning, brought in unconscious. I'll drive. Come on. We'll try and keep you as comfortable as possible. <gasps> Although, I wouldn't go entering any kickboxing tournaments anytime soon. <laughs> I better clear my diary, eh? <laughs> Doesn't matter how hard you are, there's always going to be someone harder. Do you know what the worst bit was? Nobody tried to stop it. Could have killed me. You can't be that surprised. You know what people are like, how many half weeks there are out there that are happy to use any excuse. Is that why you were beaten up? I don't think it's how, just by looking at me. Do you think you could give us a minute? Yeah. I could uh, do a check in at work anyway. You be okay? Yeah. Thought I'd go and visit Sarah later if you're up for it. And you're not harbouring any infectious diseases, that is. Mum, I know the drill. Count me in. Good. Saves me driving. Takes your mind off fretting about Moira. Thought she was picking Matty up anyway. That's a good sign, right? Yeah, she should be here by now. Well, maybe they just got talking, stopped off for a brew somewhere that you won't be gawking at them. Who are you meant to be at work, anyway? Well, what's the point with Ross playing the big I am? Never were very good at sharing. Anyone would think he was running the business. Well, all the more reason to keep him in check, if you ask me. No, me and Isaac will be just fine. My. 
Where's your mum? Uh, we thought Moira was picking you up from the hospital. I, um, I discharged myself first thing. I got as far as the train station and, um... Changed your mind? Yeah, maybe it was a bad idea. Or maybe you just had an itch you needed to scratch. Either way, you're here now. And, uh, luckily, Kane was just on his way out, weren't you? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll give you one more call. Let her know you're here. Yeah, you do that. In the meantime, me, Isaac and Matty can get to know each other a bit better, can't we? Oh, it feels weird being back here. Yeah, well, sit yourself down. I'll get us that butty. <sighs> oh, unless you're uh, veggie or vegan or gluten intolerant, in which case you might have to educate me. It would just be nice to get to know you, find out what makes you tick. But it'd be great. Bit of mayo, though, yeah? Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> OK, so, where do I start? Have you, uh, got a girlfriend, or...? Oh, no. Not anymore. I am straight, though, if that's what you're asking. No, it wasn't. Live and let live, that's my mantra. <laughs> Mistakes I've made in my life, I'm no one to judge. <laughs> so... First things first. Do you prefer a lager or maybe a nice G&T? Really? That's the first question you asked me. <laughs> I'm just easing you in gently, aren't I? Oh, don't worry. We'll get to the nitty-gritty before too long, believe me. <laughs> well, you never know. I might surprise you. I doubt that very much. I've seen the lot in my time, believe me. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry I've been so long. When Keen called, I was on my way to Manchester. What, to find me? Yeah. Of course. Because that's what mums are for, isn't it? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to leave you to it, but uh, don't you think the interrogation is over? We will pick up from where we left off later. <laughs> <laughs> You've been getting a grill in. Oh, she's refreshing the honest. I'll give her that. Yes, she is. Maybe we should both take a leaf out of her book. Do you think I should have told Pete and Ross not to say anything? About what? Matty. Not until he's ready to face everybody. He seems ready to me. Just don't overthink it. What's that supposed to mean? Oh. Huh. Take after Adam. He likes to lie him. <laughs> yeah. I like my sleep too, but now we've been playing with my little bro. I didn't know he'd woken up. Yeah, we've been reading. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. We've agreed it's a bad idea to let him. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Ooh, morning, you. Morning, you too. Right. Still there. Hi, darling. You know, if you wanted to stay a bit longer, we could always fix your room up. OK, ta. Um, any chance of a lift to the supermarket? Should remember me. Used to work here in another life. No, sorry, I don't. Yeah, that's because um, you probably knew me as Hannah, but uh, just call me Matty. Oh, um, hi, Matty. Well, you're a lot better looking than your brother. <laughs> oh, come here, love, oh. give me a hug. Oh. <laughs> I know I called him love. I call everybody love. I mean nothing by it. Oh, don't worry. I don't jump to conclusions. Have you upset him? Why would I do that? Because he was fine this morning. Yeah, just had a few pints for me dad. Oh, what has Zach been saying to him? Uh, Moira, it's fine. It clearly isn't. No, just don't. I just want to talk to my son. Yeah, we're talking. It's not going to solve his problems. So, suddenly you're an expert? No, I've just been listening to what he's got to say, you know. He's messed up at the moment, he could do with a job. Well, oh, he'll find one. There are lots of jobs in call centres out there. Yeah, but that was Hannah's job, not his. He, he, he needs something that fits who he is now, you know? Like what? Don't know, something, uh, something outdoorsy, working with animals, just a thought. He won't want to work here. 
You don't know that until you ask him. Yeah. These are Adams. So... So, he won't be needing them anymore. It, Sam does his best, and Pete is brilliant, but could always do with another man about the place. And we've been run off our feet recently, and farms don't run themselves. Are you offering me a job? Only if you fancy the idea. Feel free to say no. No, I'd love that. Really? Yeah, thanks. We're getting fed or what? I'm just serving up five o'clock tomorrow morning, sharp. Oh, yeah. I'd forgot about the early start. Oh, careful what you wish for, eh? What's up? That car collection used to be up at Home Farm. No doubt you've heard they've gone missing. Only what I read. You've been in the business. Thought you might have heard something. Not the kind of business I'm into. <laughs> That's what your partner said. He was with Rebecca White the other day, insistent he knew nothing about it. Well, should have listened then, shouldn't you? Now, if you don't mind, I'm late for a pickup. It's a bull, not a pet dog. How much? Mm. <laughs> Did you get the magic bean shucks in with that? It's just what we're looking for. Breed from him and the stock will definitely improve. Well, we could go and see him tomorrow. I'm free in the afternoon. <sighs> well, if we hang around, we'll lose him. I said I'd go over there this morning. You did ask me to get on with it. Yeah, I did. OK, great, I'll leave it up to you. I know more about buying bulls than he does. Well, he says he knows what he's doing. Yeah, but he doesn't. And you're letting him talk into spending a lot of money that you don't have on an animal that you don't even want. <sighs> We've not made a decision yet. And there's no harm in letting him think he has some responsibility. Trust me, Kane, I've got this. It'll be fine. Just double check all the paperwork before you do anything. Are you sure about that? That's sure. Oh, that's a relief. I've already paid his deposit. Took it from the business account. You all right with that? Oh, yeah. Well, Matty's part of the business now, so why shouldn't I be? I gave you responsibility. You've paid the deposit. So, it's your call. <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a bull. Thanks for trusting me. I promise you won't regret it. Maybe. I need to sort out the insurance. I've done something really stupid. I said to double check before I paid over the money. What? The bull's not a pedigree. Vanessa thought his certificate was a bit dodged, so she looked him up in the online herd book and uh, the documents are fake. Well, did you call the seller? Yeah, straight away, but she's not picking up her phone and address. What? The bull's pedigree certificate's fake and the seller's vanished into thin air. So basically, we've just bought a ton of dog meat. Uh huh, pretty much. I mean, the calves will be resellable, but we're never going to recoup the cost. And where's Matt and his bright ideas now? He needs to come up with a repayment plan. No, he, he feels bad enough, and I'm not knocking all the confidence out of him. I'm sorry? <sighs> Look, he, he's trying to take responsibility, find his place on the farm. Well, yeah, he's doing that all right. He's going to take us under. If it would have been Pete or Ross that had blown a wedge of cash, you'd have gone ballistic. Yeah, well, Matty's future here is more important. And I should never have trusted him with such a big responsibility. It's my fault. I'll live with it. All oh, right, so this is the nerve centre of Operation Bull, is it? Now I know the score, yeah. Got the crime number from the police. They don't know when they'll have someone free to come round. All right, just leave it with me, yeah? What? Do something dodgy? Well, she shouldn't sold the ringer if she didn't want payback. <laughs> you are aware that you're holding a baby? Yeah, and? Kind of messes with the tough guy image. Well, I'm not going to bring in him, am I? Mum well, asked you to take over, didn't she? <sighs> right, it's a lot of money to lose, Matty. I told her I'd sort it. She mentions it again, tell her I don't need any help. Proper bloke, eh? Oh! Have you back to no clueless? I told you, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah? But Thor's still outside. Oh, uh, he has to stay here while the police investigate. Oh. Finally turn up, did they? We, uh, went to them, actually. After got a load of evidence on my phone and all the money back. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work. See you in a bit. Thanks, Vic. So what did you do, exactly? 
is only a uh, minor bit of blackmail. So you never even got to my... You get that, right? You weren't bothered about Kane doing something. What are we doing? You go ahead, yeah. He'll be more gentle than me. I didn't mean it like that. Come on. Get me out of here. Look, which one should I choose? In the shop, all the boys' ones were like rugby or racing cars. So, I panicked. Oh. How many animals? Good call, yeah? Um, just let him lie in, it's his birthday. I, know, I just wanted him to open his present before I went back to work. So, take it up to him then. No, I don't want to disturb him. Morning. Oh. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Mwah. I didn't wake you, did I? Do you want the honest answer? Thank you. Happy birthday. Old men hug, or...? <coughs> well, yeah, some men do, but, um, you know. So, we got you this, but if you don't like it, you can change it. You hate it, don't you? Actually, it's it's great. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Oh. Thanks, Mum. Oh, you're welcome. Clean. You could wear it on your day, or, or or don't. It's up to you. Yeah, I might. Oh, lots of cards. Right. So, pancakes or fry up? What would you fancy? Oh, fry up sounds good. Yes, okay. Now, we have cows on the farm, as you know. Piggy? Nick? Piggy? Well, we don't have pigs. But when you grow up and you want to become a farmer and you decide to branch out, then that's OK. I'll fully support you in your life's choices. Right, I'm... I'm here. Well, good morning, Ross. Oh, some people have no manners. I'm just here to work, so can we get on with it? What's he after? He's been helping me out, so you should be grateful, cos I won't be so knackered tonight. Yeah. I'm not sure I want to listen to this. Well, Sam's helping out. I don't want him around. Yeah, well, it's not up to you. In fact, here's a bit extra. What are you doing? Look, he's been struggling since Pete's moved out. And what's that got to do with us? Thank you, Moira. This is exactly what I needed. Right. Bye. <sighs> you. you were immense, Mum. I was proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you as my son. Really? Mm hmm. Oh, it's funny. I was always so jealous of Adam. I used to watch you both, you know, having a laugh. Just so easy together, taking the mick. Just don't want that to be me. We were good too, weren't we? Yeah. Me as the dutiful daughter, feeding the chickens, being sensible, Hannah. Mine's way more fun. I loved her too. Yeah, well, me, not so much. I just felt so trapped. Hmm. That's why I was so quiet. And now you never shut up? <laughs> hey, Holly and Adam would have been so proud of you today calling out that bigot. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. They loved it when you kicked off. Remember that ice cream man who stole Adam's ball? Didn't you deck him in his van and cover him with hundreds of thousands? <laughs> <laughs> Adam was livid. Yeah. All he wanted was a free ice cream out of it. <laughs> Still don't get any of it. I, why I killed Auntie Emma is so unlike him. I mean, I know you don't like talking about it, but, you know, I just, I need to understand why he did it. I mean... Hey, mate. What are you doing here? Hmm. Have you any idea you're supposed to be minding him? Well, I guess. I think I passed him in my car early on his way up to the pavilion. What's he doing, leaving him on his own? I've got no idea. Can you keep hold of Meredith while I go find him? <sighs> yeah, go on, then. I'll, uh, I'll drop him off with charity later. Tell him he's a numpty from me. Anything could have happened. Tell me about it. Go on, you on the swing? Go on, let's go! Adam goes after her with a gun. She'd killed Finn. 
Yeah, but did Adam know that when he went after her? Oh, he... He was angry. Hang on. He goes after her to kill her. Somehow they end up at a viaduct where he pushes her off. I know it sounds strange. It doesn't sound strange. It sounds completely nuts. I'm premeditated and not like Adam at all. Well, not the Adam I knew. I didn't have him down as a murderer. Because he's not a murderer. He pushed her, didn't he? The push that killed her. It wasn't that simple. Yeah, I get that he was angry and provoked, but still a murderer. Stop saying that. Why, well, it's what he is. Matty! I'm sorry, Mum. I know it, it must be hard for you, but if he hadn't have been so hot-headed, none of it would have happened. He'd be here right now with us, helping you get through this. Sweetheart, you need to listen to me. And now we can never come home. For what? Stupid moment of madness. Don't be angry at him. How could it not be? Because he... Because he... He didn't... What? Mean it? Oh, Mum. Stop defending him. He killed Emma, didn't he? Well, then. I know he's my brother. And it's hard to hear. But that makes him a cold-blooded murderer. Listen, uh, sorry I never made it for the event. How'd it go for the school? Great. Oh, apart from almost knocking out some stupid cow who's bad-mouthing Holly, Adam and Matty. Standard. So what was all that about Emma? Well, he wants to know what happened with her and Adam. Subject closed, then. I was tied in knots. I think it made you sound even worse. I can't handle that, Kane. I hate lying to my own child. You can't tell him any of this. Yeah, but he deserves to know the truth. Well, he's not going to get it, is he? And you know why. You've got to keep absolutely buttoned on this. Otherwise, otherwise you're going to regret it. Oh, Simon. Oh, kick me breakfast. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, now you've slept on it, I hope you see that telling Matty about Adam isn't going to help anyone. Well, he's his brother. He's bound to want to know more. Well, you've already told Pete, Ross and Harriet. Carry on that, this. You're going to get yourself locked up. Well, maybe that's what I deserve. What does Isaac deserve, eh? He needs his mum. <sighs> Morning. Morning. Breakfast? Uh, nah. Did she make that? Don't look so surprised. <laughs> hey, Mum, um, sorry about upsetting you. Just uh, so much happened while I was away. It's good to talk, though, isn't it? Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, I've got to be getting to the shop now. But maybe we could talk some more when I get back. Bye. See ya. I wasn't expecting you back so early. Yeah, well, David gave me a lunch break, so... I thought we could finish our chat from yesterday. Oh, I ought to be getting back to work, darling. Oh, I tried to speak to Vic about Adam, but she's just as baffled by it as I am. Probably best to leave it. People don't want all those bad memories ringing back. I'm not trying to upset people. I just I need to understand how my brother could have done something like that. There's nothing anyone can do about it now. Is that how you really feel, Mum? Might I just leave it? Because you can't avoid the subject forever. I'm not avoiding it. I'm not sure there's much more I can tell you. I simply can't understand how he could have done something like that. He wasn't that sort of guy. No, you're right, he wasn't. He was a good lad. I'm poor Vic. I mean, like, how could he leave her behind? Guess it shows he never really loved her. Yeah, of course he did. It was, it's just an impossible situation. I think you need to get back to work. Yeah, you're right. I'll see you later. I'm sorry, darling. Yesterday. I know that there's more to this Adam business than you're letting on. Well, there's nothing you need to know about. I don't think that's your call. He's still my brother, and I, I know one will see that in the end. So you need to talk to me first, stop pestering her. Okay. So tell me, 
What's this all about? Well, I don't want you upsetting your mum. Oh, I'm not trying to upset her, I just want answers. Try and see it from her side. Knowing that a son is a murderer is bad enough. But to remind her that he's never coming back, well, that's even worse. She was really close to the edge when Holly died, and it's taken her a long time to get where she is now. Well, maybe we can help each other come to terms with what's happened to Adam. Well, the best way you can help her is to stop asking questions and be there for her. You and Isaac, that's all she's got to hold on to now. I'm not sure if you believe that. Well, I do. And I think you should too. OK. I hear you. Well, I hope so. Cos I'm going to France for work tomorrow. And if I come back to find out you've been bothering again, I'm not going to be happy about it, all right? There's no pulse. It's dead. This, this is some kind of sick joke. Check for yourself. Hey, up. Shouldn't you be in France? Yeah. The, uh... The Calais jobs were fine and let me go. Right, uh, have you uh, seen Chaz yet? Yeah. Where's your mum? <laughs> Not a clue, her phone's off. Thought she might be at home farm. Why? Because there's a fundraiser going on up there. You know, the one for your granddaughter. Right. Look, why don't I give you a chance to chill a bit, you know? I know you got a lot going on. Yeah, it's uh... Right, so Isaac's been down about ten minutes. Hey, he loves this, doesn't he? Calm down, Boris. Must have read it about four times. Hello, I'm Boris. Oh, I must be better than getting scarred than you. You're going out of what? Fine. I'm out of here. So this your idea of under the radar? Hmm? Home visit. Better than I'm firm. There's police and forensics all over the place. What? Not because of Joe for uh, Kim. She took a fall. Landed nicely. Usually accident prone, is she? Luckily, she's recovering in hospital. Lucky for who? I would have thought enough blood has been spilled today, wouldn't you? Do you really think all this moral high ground rubbish is going to wash with me? How do I know you've taken care of this properly? I'm neither careless nor a fool. I just need to know none of this is going to come back on me. I didn't have you down as someone that panics, not with your reputation. I've never killed someone. I'm no murderer. And yet here we are. I said I'd take care of things and I meant it. You're just going to have to trust me. Right, Joe did. Where is he? Forgive my patronising, but, um... Isn't it more sensible you don't know? That's generally how these things tend to work. If you're trying to intimidate me, then don't bother. Trust it is, then. People are stupid. They think they're good at lying, but... Oh, 
We're early and you're making coffee. I don't know about you, but I am not coping well with no sleep. What did Deb say about Ross and Simon? Kane, I can see you're upset, but please talk to me. You've barely said a word to me since we got home last night. You did ring Debbie, didn't you? Kane, what is wrong with you? I told you last night I leave money on Simon grassing her up. She needs to know so she can prepare herself when the police show up. <sighs> Do it. Where are you going? See Debbie. She's in court today for a plea hearing, that's all the police are saying. Well, Sarah is going to freak when she hears the news. They're not letting her go. Yeah, which is why we're not going to tell her. As soon as the nurses have done the rounds, you're going to sit with her like normal, make up some excuse. She'll trust it more coming from you. Don't count me out. I've got to be in court for Debs, Anna. It's fine. We'll fob her off. Should really be patching things up with her, but that can wait, seems though he's not even talking to me anyway. Well, you can nip home for a bit. I can cover. No, Sarah's more important right now. We can't have a sus and anything's wrong. More than the obvious, I mean. Spineless creep doing a bunk on her mum's wedding day. I mean, who does that? She will get bail, though, right? Yeah. But she's no harm to anyone, is she? Let's face it, she's a single mum. Her kid's sick in hospital. They've got to show some mercy. You'd think. Well, go on, then. Get gone. Bring her home. Where's Mum? Um, she's still at the police station. It all takes time, babe. You know what police are like? Questioning and getting them to fill in forms. And, and she's probably said something that's wound them up, so, you know, that'll be holding things up. You know she's not the most diplomatic of people. So she's been there all night? Yeah, but that's better than sleeping here with you. <laughs> Where's Grumpy? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll give him a wee call. <clears throat> Has she been released? Charged. Simon's doctor, innit? Well, not from the compression I recorded, but when he was alone with the police. Well, yeah. she didn't do this, he did it. She never... She never ordered acid. She's still responsible, Ross, you know that. Any decent judge won't see it like that, though. She'll get bail, therefore, just... when well, she's explained the situation. Oh, Ross, don't be so naive. Why are you whispering? What aren't you telling me? What? Kane just drank. The magistrates refused bail. So... Your mum's on remand till she goes to Crown Court. Why have they charged you? Who told her? I don't understand. Simon, the guy who threw the acid. And how did the police find him? It was me. I wanted him to be punished for what he did. I didn't mean for your mum to be dragged in. I hope you're pleased with yourself. She needed to know the truth. But if you say you want a lot of the, you're the victim, they have to listen to you. Look, well, it's up to the court, love. But what we can do is, is get her a good solicitor. The best. Brilliant ones who will be able to explain it really well. And make the jury understand that she's not a bad person. But she might have to stay in prison till the trial. I'm sorry, kid. No. No, it's, it's remand. It's not like prison at all. She can take her own straighteners and her, and her makeup, and she can have as many visitors as she likes. I can't visit, though. No, but we can talk to her on the phone. Yeah, and you can write her a letter. Oh, she'd love that. Oh, I bet she'd faint from the shock. Listen, you've done this before, remember? Your proton therapy in Prague. You had six weeks away from your mum. Oh, we had so many laughs, all that shopping and bar crawls. Uh, tell me she's lying. I'm not quite sure with Faith. <laughs> Listen, you've got me, you've got Grumpy, you've got Moira, you've got Granny Faith. I know we're not your mum, but we're going to be here every second for you. That's a promise. Team Dingle, come on. Yeah. We've got this covered. <laughs> Kane, talk to me. We had a scare, but Charity said Sarah's stable now. And she'll come through this like she always has, because she's made a strong stuff, that one. Just like her mum. You're the only one that seems to be giving up here. You're avoiding Sarah. You're biting my head off every time I ask you what's wrong. 
And you haven't even been to see Debbie in prison yet. I, I just don't get it. I thought you'd be fighting for your family. I mean, I don't recognise this. All right, well, that's really going to help. Drink until you pass out. How can you be so selfish? Oh, right. Turn your back on me like you always used to do. You know, I thought we were beyond that now. Just leave me alone. I'm just sex, yeah. And? Don't you feel anything? Or want to do everything in your power to get Debbie out of prison, for instance? Thought I told you to leave me alone. Aye, you did, but this is me you're talking to. And I won't be intimidated by you throwing some furniture about. What is making you like this? Your family needs you. Debbie needs you, Sarah, Noah, me. Yeah, I know what my family are. Well, then do something about it. What if I can't? I am. What if I've run out of ideas? What if they see me for who I really am? And who is that exactly? Look, whatever this is, talk to me. You've been there for me every step of the way. Hey, when I told you about Emma, you stood by me. So please, just let me do the same for you. You've no idea. Then tell me. Come on, sweetheart. You know we can get through this together. Oh, it's... It's Isaac's daycare, I'm gonna have to take it. Then we talk. Nothing to talk about. Hello. Yeah, hello. Back. I can see. Are you back properly? That's all you can be bothered with. A nod. You just took off. Yeah. When everything went to hell, you just left a flaming no. A no. That's it. No calls, no checking in to see how I was or, or how the kids were. Do you have any idea what Debbie and Sarah went through? What they're still going through? I got your messages. Yeah, but you still didn't pick up the phone. For any of us. What is wrong with you? Don't think I don't have an idea. It's to do with Joe, obviously. You both disappeared. Why, Kane? Tell me. Tomorrow. I've just... I just buried my niece and, um... You know, I can see my sister's going through a living nightmare, so can we do this tomorrow? Some of us are trying to kip. And some of us have been outside working in the dark and freezing cold for hours. <sighs> do you want a medal or something? Nope, but I do want to talk to you right now, if that's OK with you. I want to know why you went away and where. Step is barely a ring letter. Can you promise me that you would tell me today? I'm 
it's a birthday now, so if she gets out, I need to be there. This is about Joe. It isn't. So why did you go all shifty when I mentioned him yesterday? Oh, gosh, stink. I need a shower. Ken. Ken, come on. Got bail, in case you're interested. Good. Good. And? Just tell me what is going on. Sorry, I've got no idea what you're talking about. OK. I had to go away on business, right? And I didn't tell you because I knew you'd kick off. Car ringing. Seriously? Keep it there. Do you really expect me to believe that? See yourself. I know there's more to this, Kane, and I know it's about Joe, so the sooner you tell me. Where are you going now? Well, I was going to have a quiet pint before I pick up Jack, but I think I'll just go and pick up Jack. Take it you're still not ready to talk, then? About what? About whatever's going on. And don't try and fob me off with some excuse. No? OK, let's try something easier. Why are we up for half the night? As it wouldn't settle, and uh, I had stuff on my mind about Debbie. I'm not stupid. I know what it means when you disappear for days and refuse to talk. Well, if you're so cleared up, we don't need to talk. Tell me what you've done. Has it ever occurred to you I might not have done anything? So why else would you go off like that, then? Maybe to get away from you after the stunt you pulled with Ross. I was trying to stop him from killing Simon. Um, if you hadn't have interfered, then Debbie wouldn't be facing a stretch, would she? Well, that's the last thing I would want to happen. You've got no idea what it's like being responsible for someone's death. You can't shake the guilt no matter how hard you try. And Ross, he's vulnerable enough without him having to live with that. That's not how I'd describe him. Yeah, well, it's the truth. It's more than you're telling me. You know, Sarah had her transplant. Debbie needed you more than ever, not to mention Chaz. And you flounced off because you're annoyed with me. I don't think so. I've had enough of this. What did you do to Joe? Kane, what did you do? You know the deal, Kane. We've been here often enough. I get the truth or you get out. All I care about right now is helping Debbie. She can't go to prison. Well, there's not much anyone can do about it. She needs to get away from here, her and the kids. Are you saying what I think you're saying? She could go to Belgium, build a new life. Oh, with her dangerously ill daughter and her six-year-old son. Yeah, that's a great idea, Kane. The hospitals there are amazing. I know it's not going to be easy. Oh, look, but... this is ludicrous. Haven't you learned anything? I know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah? I will never see Adam again because you sent him on the run. Well, get in touch when he can. He already did. That's right. While you were away doing whatever the hell it was you were doing, my life was falling to bits again. Well, well what happened? I told Matty and Victoria the truth, that I killed Emma. Adam got in touch with Aaron. He was in Budapest. But the police still think he's guilty, so he's on the move again. And you might think he's fine and dandy with his new shiny life, but that's no help to me. I'm sorry. No, you're not, because you want to do exactly the same thing with Debbie. Because something's happened, right? Something bad on them. If she ever finds out, well, she can't find out, and that's why she has to go. Is it to do with Joe? Oh, God, you've hurt him. I killed him. How exactly did it happen? I hit him. Just one punch. His head hit a rock. And then what? Nothing. I... He was dead. Is that why you went away? Told me. 
Where did you go? No. Leeds. I'm just trying to forget. Well, I'm guessing that didn't work. This is what it was like after Emma. Like what? Well, like going round and round. Like do you, you want to just rip the image out of your head, make it stop? Pretty much. Yeah, but you managed to cope with things, didn't you? You think I was coping? You know I was a mess. I tried to give her son away. Yeah, but you got through it, though. But it's always there. It's... It's a part of who I am. But it does get easier. Don't lie to me. Not about this. <sighs> what happened to the body? I don't know. Graham dealt with it. Graham? Why? He said I saved him a job and <laughs> didn't ask questions. Who else knows? No one. Well, he's not gonna he's not gonna tell anyone. Oh, you can't be sure of that. Yeah, but he'll be landing himself in it, won't he? Well, it was him who told me to go. I could see I was close to cracking, well, I still am. That's why I wanted Debbie and the kids away from here. Yeah, well, that's not the right thing to do. I know that now. Stupid. I was panicking. If Debbie ever finds out what I've done, she'll never speak to me again. What if she finds out? She's not going to find out. Ever. Come here. Okay. After what I did to Emma, I lost it. And I will not let that happen to you. He was a nasty piece of work. He's gone now. And the best thing Debbie and you can do is put him behind you and move on. Yeah. You're right. Whatever you need, I am here for you. Emma didn't break our family. Joe's not going to break our family either. Okay? I just can't believe. Oh, here's Mummy. Should it be at the farm grafting? Hey, even farmers deserve a lunch break. I know when I'm being babysat. I just worry about you, that's all. I wouldn't do anything stupid, am I? I saw Debbie earlier. How is she? Uh, not great. And this trial hanging over her isn't helping. It must be hard for her on her own. And I think she's struggling with money. Right, I'll sort it. Yeah, well, just don't let it look like you're mollycoddling her. What, like you're mollycoddling me, you mean? Sorry. Don't be. I appreciate it. Do you hear that, Isaac? He appreciates it. Go, get ready. Hey. What are you up to? Uh, just taking some bits for charity shop. Yeah. What is it? Just some of Joe's stuff. And what are you up to after the charity shop? Nothing, why? I need you back at the garage. Since when? Since I need an extra pair of hands. Look, I've got a lot of work on and I can't afford to turn it down. Not after shelling out to Ross, anyway. Thanks, Dad. Welcome back on board. I'm charging to deliver stuff. Yeah, listen, Mickey, I might have some time off, but I'm not going soft in the head. Do you want the order or not? Good. Tomorrow it is, then. See you in a bit. Talk about trying it on. OK. What is it? Listen, I don't want to sound like I'm ungrateful or that I don't want the job because I do, I'm skin. But I feel like my life is spiralling backwards. What's this? 
Graham has evicted me. Probably punishment for having to go at him. Anyway, you know the thing that we said about the kids coming to live here? Well, we might need to bring it forward. With me, part of the deal. Is that okay? Of course, sir. You don't even need to ask. God, he can't kick you out. It's your place. Yeah, well, Joe never did the paperwork, did he? You know, probably did it on purpose. Now I'm thinking about it. That's well, to give you notice, though. Always breaking the law. Yeah. Two months. I'm just all prior to shove. Listen, are you sure that I'm going to be able to fit in? Yeah, yeah. All the boys can share. Yeah, and you can have my room. They can't do this. This is out of order. Look, Dad, they can do what they want. I don't even want anything to do with the stupid house, right? It's just a reminder of Joe and of. Right, Keen, you take Matty and go and pick up the rest of Debbie's stuff. Debbie, would you mind Isaac for me? There you go. Come on. Right then. Come on. Hang on. What are you doing? Well, I'm gonna go and see Graham. You thought you closed him down yesterday, but obviously it didn't work. So now it's my turn. Bye. These people are drinking. Is he? Same as. You can neck a ball of meth for all I care, but when you evict my daughter just because Kim clicks the fingers, you can forget about it. Oi. There's more to say you like this. Ooh, Debbie, sent in the cavalry. How predictable. You're pathetic. Right, just leave him. I will sort this. Joe would be disgusted, you know. He'd be ashamed. Joe isn't here. I ruined his life, according to you. Have you done that? Mm. No. Right, come on, let's get you out. Mm. Oh, you ended up here then. I left you a message. Yeah, sorry, I, uh, I didn't pick up my phone. Yeah, well, I didn't even see him. Your house is a mess, though. And you finished all Joe's whiskey. More right. Uh... You should have called her head. Why, Graham? You've held out for this long without giving in to it. You'll find no answers like this. You're losing it. He's a wreck. What is wrong with you, man? I have had a drink. Things finally get into your way. Come on. We need to get my wife from No, me. we need to call him a taxi. Sort yourself out before you do something stupid. Because you wouldn't like that at all. For Debbie to find out Danny Daddy's a murderer. You put your own house in order. I don't take advice from you. I'm supposed to say I was watching that. I was watching that. What's going on, Dad? Don't know, he just switched it off. So you're going to stay up here all day again, then? Looks like it. You OK, love? Yeah. Apart from Graham dragging him up here, mm. smashed. What? You kidding me? Desperate to see my dad. Because? Because apparently he knows more about Joe than what he's letting on. <laughs> well, what exactly did he say? He said loads of things that... We were pathetic. They hated us. But why would you say that about Dad? <sighs> he's a drunk with nothing left. And he's looking for anyone to blame. I mean, him and Joe have been lying from the start and now it's all caught up with them. He can't handle it. I mean, look what he did with Joe's phone. I mean, he can spin it any way he wants, but I just don't believe a word that comes out of that man's mouth. I'll see you in a bit. See you. Bye. And you know what? Graham will probably forget he was even here by tomorrow. Where have you been? I've been trying to call you. Work. I didn't need our Debbie on my case any longer. I'm glad. Well, I'm obviously not going to thank you for it. Well, it wouldn't be you if you did. Today, I think it's what I needed. You will get past this, Kane, because you have to get past it. Yeah. So where are you going? Uh, I'm just off to the shops. Do you want anything? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. See you later. See you. 
she uh, seen a solicitor yet? Nope. I suggested it, but she reckons she didn't have time. Yeah, well, she needs to make time. Her case is tomorrow. Well, everything's about Sarah. She's not thinking about court. <sighs> Crazy. Or not. It'll just be barristers arguing between themselves. I mean, how much control does she have? But she's bringing her daughter back from hospital so she can make that perfect. Just let her be in charge. You know, I thought I'd miss our old home, but this is just as good. And it smells like home, not a hospital. Well, it is home. For as long as you, your mum and Jack want to stay. Better enjoy the peace, cos the hordes will be descending tomorrow. <laughs> can I see my room? Which one is it? Yeah, go ahead. Take a wild guess. Debs? Yeah, it's, um, just Ross. Wishing me luck for tomorrow. Um, do you want to go over it later? You know, I mean, practice what you're going to say. No. I don't. I want to spend every second I can with Sarah. So what is it today? All ripping into her, I guess. Was it that bad? How can it sound good? It wasn't meant for him, and I never said acid. I just said... Mess some other bloke up instead. I'm useless to Amara. Well, there's one thing you can do. Do not let her see you in this defeated state. You quite drinks, Lydia said. Who are all these people? Merry Christmas! You having a good day so far? The annual Christmas jump off is as cringe as ever. <laughs> so she's just jealous. Anyone sniffing some fish you want on the what? Your price. to scrape me off the floor. <laughs> Congratulations to you both. I'm well happy for you. Oh, oh you're again? What? <laughs> oh, thanks for a gorgeous. Have you seen Mayor? Have you... Get it. Oh, here he is. Come on, let's see what those hits can do. Have you seen Mayor come back? No, no, no. See if she's still there. No, you won't come here. Come on, let's 